deep in the heart of Texas. We're in the business of winning. Don't bet against me. I don't, don't bet anyway. Don't lose your life. Check, check. We got to hop in the Goat James Kingdom. Yeah, yeah they, don't they, forget, they, don't forget that's that nothing your new. shoes make you the goat. Thank you. A, 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 shout out to A Weezy <laughs> Bang and, and the Sports Bang Show. Um, and sports, uh, Bang Sports and Entertainment. He deals with them all the time. They they don't know how yeah. to talk basketball. They use uh, false narratives and they and they think that they're using narratives that exposes us, but in reality, they just expose themselves. We were more than willing to explain why LeBron's better than Michael Jordan, not only just being the GOAT, because we explained why he was the GOAT, but they wanted us to explain why he was better than Jordan. And we were able to do that easily if they let us, but they didn't let us. We actually, yeah, we the, gen- the gentleman is here right now. N- NMB is here, sports. Thank you for joining us. What's up, he guys? On, he was on the show uh, with the Michael Jordan fans are the best platform. Uh, you got to make sure to check those guys out. He has a platform. So go ahead and introduce yourself to the GOAT James Kingdom uh, panel, sir. Yeah, so NNB Sports, you guys can check out my channel name under the uh, same thing, NNB Sports, probably should be able to find me. Um, Just cover an array of topics involving sports. Uh, I tend to focus more on basketball, but we do everything from college football, uh, talking about baseball. Um, We're based in Texas, so we kind of do a lot of uh, sports teams around that area. But uh, essentially for me, I'm a diehard Mavs fan in terms of where my basketball loyalties lie, as you guys can probably see in the background. So, uh, yeah, that's a little bit about me, and we can take it from here wherever we want. All right. Well, th- again, thanks for joining us. Uh, this is the Goat James Kingdom platform. We are a very unique platform, and like uh, like we told you guys, we are more than courteous that you guys come up and speak. Uh, you're the first Dallas Mavericks fan that we've ever had up here before, so shout out to the Dallas Mavericks fans. And uh, you guys actually lost last night after going on a 30-0 run. Yeah. That's all right. That's We're crazy. still doing better this year than I thought. So I I agree. I, I I do agree. I didn't think you guys would be this good, but you guys are actually a good team. You guys Wait, are on, I just slipped that on the roll. You mean a team scored 30 points? <laughs> See, Craig, this is what happens when you say you use your eye test, but you never watch basketball. Yes, the Dallas Mavericks went on a 30-0 run last <laughs> night and lost the game still. And don't forget, they, they went on a 30-0 run and took the lead and still yes. lost. Yes, they did. They did. Oh, I mean, so again, they, I mean, OKC, they played OKC. It's not like they played a crappy team, but still, at 30 yeah, over is, is remarkable. Oh, yeah, because if remarkable. it was the Lakers, yeah, I mean, I'd have been like, huh. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we, did, we did beat the Lakers earlier this year, so that's really um, all that matters. <laughs> so just to let you know, at NMB, we have, uh, obviously, you know, Brandon and I are GOAT James guys, and then we have John here. King John is a GOAT James Kingdom member, so he represents the GOAT James Kingdom platform. But the two gentlemen next to you, Travis and Craig, are what we call MJ delegates. They are here to make sure Brandon and I don't go off the ledge talking about Michael Jordan. So they are your representatives. Um, so you are more than, you know, welcome to speak on however you want to I talk about. I just want to be clear. Huh? We'll, oh, we'll, they're we'll going to win. <laughs> they go to rings. They go to rings. Uh, quick question: you, you you were asking us about our criteria and our top fifty uh, criteria. What was it that you would like for us to explain a little bit better? Since we didn't get a chance, because Rex didn't really give us a chance to explain it. Oh well, uh, I didn't watch the video yet. I'll probably go back and watch your video. I might even do a reaction to it or something. Um, but I didn't really dive into it yet. I didn't have time. I was I came straight over from uh, Dart's channel. Okay, all right, because with us here, criteria is very important. We always tell people your criteria should tell you who are the greatest players of all time. Your criteria could be subjective, right, because it depends on what you value, but your criteria should be important. But here at Goat James Kingdom, we try to remove our biases. So the point of what we did at the top 50 greatest players of all time was, like I said, we removed our biases. So as Rex said before, it's hard to judge players in different eras because of certain accolades were available, certain stats were available. It's a lot of different variables, a lot of dynamics that makes it hard to grade people fairly. So we found a way that we believe is the most objective, the most comprehensive way to grade players by their stats and accolades. So that's what we did. So we removed our biases. Prior to us doing the top 50 greatest, both Brandon and I had our own criteria, and we created a grading system to grade players by that. So we have challenged everyone to do the same because we would love to see a criteria that truly has Jordan as the GOAT on, that, that's outside of popularity. You guys uh, spoke about popularity yeah. today, but I, we're talking about objective, measurable, tangible things that would show LeBron, uh, that Jordan is the GOAT of all time. I know, I know you like to frame it that because you made a formula, it's objective, but even the way you make formulas can be subjective, right? If I wanted to, 
I can make mm-hmm. a formula that puts more of an emphasis on the things that Jordan was good at, and I could easily come up with a formula that proves he's the greatest, right? So no. I kind of push back on the fact that just because you made a formula doesn't mean mm-hmm. it's objective at, at, at its core, right? You can still weigh mm-hmm. things differently. Might, some people might consider this more important than that. So just because you mm-hmm. made a formula, I'm not wholly convinced. I'll watch your video and see what I think. But again, mm-hmm. you, this framing of just because you made a formula and it removed biases, uh, I don't I don't really buy into that because a formula can still be manipulated however you want to make it. Uh, that that is that is your accusation, but you can't prove that we manipulate. No, every formula can be like that, right? Wait, wait. No, we no, agree no, no, on no. that, right? No, 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 no. Because you, you again, can't make a formula to come to an answer this, you want. Pay t- pay attention, NMB. Pay attention to what I'm going to tell you. The criteria we created gave no one player or error an advantage over the other, which makes it completely objective. No, it doesn't. That's just yes. your opinion. You're no, deciding no, no, no. what to weigh again. and what to pick. Li- no, no. Listen again. The formula that was put together did not give any one player or error an advantage over the other. Everybody was graded the same. It was an equal playing field. And all this, all the stats were graded the same, and you took into account yes. all the stats, all the yes. accolades, every single yes. thing, turnovers? Yes. Yes. No, we didn't you, count turnovers. Oh, no. well, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can still come to okay, an answer right, that you right. want. <laughs> all right, let's do this, because we, we had this conversation. Did you before. count finals no, losses, right. or you know when what I mean? Had, you can judge anything you want. Final, final, again, you're bringing up negative stats. We're talking about the greatest. We're talking about what's great. We're talking about what's great. We're, we're measuring players for their greatest accomplishments, not for what you think is a negative stat. And greatest finals, is subjective. Right. Fin- no, finals losses is subjective that you think it's bad. That's subjective. Your formula, I can say oh, the wait. exact same about your formula. I, I don't understand why you don't understand this. What it's, is it about our formula that's negative? You picked what mm-hmm. you thought was objective. Does it make it objective? It's still what you picked Again, and what that you weighed. Again, my question. What is it about specifically that we put in that made it I negative? haven't gone into your formula yet. I'm just letting you know the basic argument. So you still made a formula. So you're making an argument without any validity. I just told you, I just came straight over from the other channel. I have not watched it yet, right? Like, I don't, if, so if you want, I can me, sign off. If you want, I can sign off right now and NMB, do a reaction think video. Think about what you just said, NMB. Think about what you just said. You just said you, you don't have enough information to formulate an opinion, but you stated an opinion that we were being biased. Yes, so you, you, you still actually, made the formula. No, again, the formula was made to make sure nobody had an advantage over anyone. According so to you. Value, no, we didn't. No, again, if we add turnovers, do you think turnovers would make Michael Jordan to go to basketball? Would it not affect it? Your formula? No. It would. Yes, no, it, it would. Absolutely no, it would affect it. No, it wouldn't. Let me tell you why it wouldn't. Did you because count scoring the greatest, titles? The, yes. The greatest players of all time are on the top 10 scoring list. I mean, uh, the turnovers list. Did you count You're finals win percentage? See what I, I mean? You, you, win, no, no, wait. You, again. You can final, ad, you okay. can adjust and, and put anything in that you want. I, I just don't understand do you why understand? you don't understand wait, this wait, basic wait, 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 wait. thing. Do you understand that everything you're asking us to put in is because you believe Michael Jordan is the greatest at it? So uh, you think Michael Jordan has the best winning percentage of all time in the finals? He doesn't. So it doesn't help Michael. It helps Scotty. Uh, so so then I'm Robert not Orton. being biased. Then I'm not being biased. That is being biased because you're. No, you just said I brought up something he's not no, the best no. at. So I'm not being no, no, biased. No, 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 no. You again. You want to use it because you think he's the best at it. So you. That's why you want. You think because the Jordan has least turnovers. But guess what? He doesn't have least turnovers than Clay, Clay Thompson, Reggie Miller, Carmelo Anthony. So you're going to Shaquille O'Neal. Players who do not play make will be rewarded over players who play make, which is being biased. We so are at it goes both ways, yes. bro. I will no, watch your video. I will watch your video and do a reaction and, and give my us thoughts. Of but... anything without actual validity and information. Uh, I haven't uh, accused right. you of so, anything uh, other than all formulas are based on what people decide to put in and out and how they want to weigh it. That's all okay, I'm saying. Okay, so, so basically, we, we're, we're not going to agree on this formula. It's fine. It's fine. So, um, M- MB Sports. So, you believe Michael Jordan is, you know, the GOAT of, of basketball? In my and, opinion, um, yes, he's the goat. Yes. So, are you willing to try to expose us on this um, by stating why Michael Jordan is goat, or is this yeah, something kinda, that you think you could do? Yeah, I I kind of did this in Dart Stream. I didn't go deeply into it, right? But okay, the argument. Okay, so so okay. so hold on. So so what what we do is we give um, whoever wants to come on and expose us why Michael Jordan is a goat. We give them. Um, five minutes, one minute, um, in, in, in intervals, five different times. So we give you that one minute of just stating why five times, and then I'm allowed to, to chime in for a minute 
um, and then you go to the next. And at the end, you and um, um, a, a Johnny go. Well, actually, a Johnny is the one who actually ends this this you know the debate of if you win or not. So, are you willing to <laughs> to do life. that? Yeah, it's fine. We can do it. Okay, so um, you want to do the um, um, clock, Johnny? Yes, yes. Just okay, you so um, <laughs> whenever you start, you can get your first minute, and we could go. Just start whenever I'm ready? All right. This all boils down to LeBron. I've done this before. The LeBron and the Michael Jordan argument is of two different sides, right? There is the side that appreciates accumulation of stats over a long period of time that makes someone have more of a raw number, right? There is the other side of the coin that says peak matters. What did you do at your best? How good was your good? Michael Jordan's peak, the way he dominated the game, is unlike anything LeBron has ever done so far, right? And it's really not even close if you're just arguing peak versus peak. LeBron's peak is nowhere near Jordan's. That is essentially where this the differentiation lies, right? I, and I believe most fans, objectively, whether you're in a city that's never won a ring, uh, you're just a fan of the game, a coach, a manager, what would you rather have? Someone who is maybe third to fifth best at any kind of category throughout his lifetime but never reached the peaks? Or would you have a slightly shorter career but you got up to the peak in, in terms of an, uh, a peak that no one's ever seen, right? For example, I'll just finish on this. If I go over lower my time, I'm sorry. But Dirk Nowitzki, right? My favorite player. My biases lie with Dirk, right? I would trade in Dirk's being was seventh or eighth in the all-time scoring list. I would trade the last four or five years of his career for another ring and another MVP. Does that mean he'll fall out of the top ten in scoring and other categories? Yes. I want the peak. I want the dominance. I want the rings. I want to be able to tell everyone that we were the best X amount of times compared to anyone else. That's where the, the rubber hits the road. Jordan's peak beats uh, LeBron's uh, longevity. Okay, that's a minute. Uh, okay, so, um, so you know, that's good. But um, I'm on, we're going to have to go to the second round because we want to know why Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time. We understand that you believe LeBron James is the greatest player. That's why you want to um, – talk about what Jordan did better than LeBron, but the second round, we I want to hear you say why Michael Jordan is greater than everybody of all time. All right, so let's go to the second round. So you have no rebuttal to the peak versus longevity argument? Um, Michael Jordan don't have the highest peak. Will Tramblin did. But we're not talking about other players. Okay. You, you guys did this last time. Stop we're, deflecting. We're, we're talking this about is the LeBron and MJ. Time. It's LeBron no, and MJ. Oh, we oh. asked you, oh, wait, wait. We asked you to prove why Jordan is the greatest player of all time not why he's better than lebron okay well then we can use whatever player you want to bring up okay. jordan is closer to that player than lebron no okay. again right. prove why michael jordan is the goat you have and his grow. statistical weight your is unlike anyone is else up. go ahead your second minute starts now go okay again if we want to go into it right every it, this this comes back to the accumulative weight argument right is jordan the best at any one particular category for a few yes for some no it is an accumulative weight of someone's career, correct? When you look at the fact that Jordan has the second most rings in terms of being the best player on a team, the scoring titles, he was a top 10 rebounding point guard. He's one of the best, he is the best shot blocking shooting guard of all time. Defensive player of the year, the nine time all defensive teams. Again, his accumulative weight of what he has achieved, also in an expansion area where Again, when Bill won his, won his rings, there, I know Rex doesn't like this, but when Bill won his rings, there was, what, eight to ten teams? You had to win two rounds of playoffs to win a championship, right? The things that Jordan has done in his era, his accumulative weight, he doesn't have to be the best at one thing, but he is second or third in essentially everything, right? And even if we break it down by his position, he's even more. His accumulative weight of the things he has achieved is greater than than essentially any player. That's That would be the ultimate argue, wh argument why he's the GOAT. Time. Okay, so you said Michael Jordan is the second or third greatest player uh, on which, on what? So, like, second like if, if, if you take, like, steals per game, points per game, uh, again, the MVPs, all defensive teams, right? He's essentially first and second in a lot of these categories, or third. No, he's not. All the all, First team, all defensive teams? Oh, okay, he's first in that. Points, points per game? First. What else? Points per game? What else? Mm -hmm. MVPs, he's what, second or third? Mm -hmm. Rings as the best player, he's second? No. 
Rings as the best player on his team. Oh, he'd be tied with with, with Kareem. Yeah. Second, I guess. Okay. I so so I mean again we can keep going down the list. Also, if you I know this doesn't count, right? I don't want to give Jordan credit for things he didn't do, but I like to reiterate the peak versus longevity argument. If Jordan simply would have played out his career, again, I know he didn't play, I know. But I'm just, this is just to reiterate my peak versus longevity. He would have been first in steals all time. He would have been 11th or 12th in assists all time. He would have been first in points all time. He would still be ahead of LeBron by about 4,000 points right now if he simply just played out his career, right? His dominance, right, is still, and his accumulative weight of everything he's done is better than anyone else. That's, that's the argument. Well, his well that didn't happen, so he's not. So your thing is Michael Jordan is the greatest because of his points and his steals per game. Did you not is just hear what I said? What like you, you're either yes. being dishonest or you didn't hear me. And, Any sort of category then, we we want to go to, right? Either by position okay. or all time, he is essentially top five in that. His accumulative weight is greater than anyone else. He's not top five in rebounds. He's not top five in blocks. Did you hear what I said? Essentially every category, not every single one. Not right? every time. And again, for his position, okay, he's, okay, a top, okay, he's top okay. six. He's top three rebounding, <laughs> shot blocking, shooting guard of all time. Okay, so, so again, would you would you say that he's top two or three in the top five major statistical categories in the playoffs and regular season? Uh, I, well, by what per game? I know you guys like to use you totals, but per again, game. per game is more per, important per game than totals. Want, but steals per game? Is he? Steals is per he? game? He's is top he? five in steals per game. I'm pretty sure. Points per game, he's number one. Playoffs, he's number one in points per game. Only player to ever lead in all five categories in a playoff series. Only player to win a ring with only one other guy averaging what, double-digit points. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what you just said? Jordan was what? Now again about playoffs? I, believe, five I could be wrong. I believe he's the only guy to lead, lead his team in all major categories for a playoff series. False. No, that's, that is, that is, that's LeBron James. Okay, so... Yeah, LeBron, um, so wait, Jordan like, didn't do that? Yeah, Jordan didn't do that, though? No, he. No, LeBron's the no, only first and only. So so let's go ahead and go to round three. So let's go ahead and start. That was round, that was round three, actually. He, he, he went to round three. That was round, he's on round four now. He just okay. He's on round four. Okay, go. Two more rounds. You, you haven't debunked anything I said. I don't know what else you want me to say. We're giving you five minutes. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Go right, ahead. Try to. You done. haven't okay. disproved anything okay. I've said. No, it, okay, it's, we, it's coming. I, I, remember, I'm, I'm showing up last. We've so gone we, through four rounds though, and you haven't really said anything. Okay, no problem. No problem. Continue. I mean, right. yeah, we 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 wanted to just give you your your time to talk, even though. A lot well, of should just gave me five straight minutes true. to get it all out. I mean, a, a, a lot of stuff you said was not true um, in the first place. He's not first or second in the major statistical categories. I'm not sure what categories you're talking about. I don't. I guess I'll say it one more time, right? Points per game, what is he? Uh, what is he? He's first. number one in points per game. Okay, steals per game, what is he? Fourth. Okay, top five. In terms, of, in terms of a shooting guard, he is the best blocking shooting guard of all time, right? I'm sorry he doesn't play center. I'm sorry he doesn't play center, right? I'm sorry he doesn't play center. I'm sorry he doesn't play center, right? We're talking about all time. All time. That's not all time. But go ahead, continue. Well, it does matter. It's his peak. Again, he doesn't play center. He's not going to get 20 boards a game. You're excluding players. Continue. I mean, I've already said it. You guys can just go ahead. Okay, yeah, yeah. You said... Um, he's number two in most um, MVPs, number two in leading a team to the most um, championships. Well, I think that's like what the five things you said, um, points in the regular season, postseason, and steals in the regular season, postseason. So, um, you know, that's great. Um, LeBron James has been superior if you're talking about statistics he's very superior than everybody who ever played the game of basketball simple as that there's no player who has scored 39,000 points there's no players who have 30,000 points 10,000 steals I mean 10,000 rebounds 10,000 steals again there's this not is one just player. this is just your opinion there, that not, longevity yeah. no no trumps his no peak. this is a fact this is a fact there's there's it's a fact he accumulated more stats if, if so it doesn't prove about, he's better if we're doesn't talking about better. a peak we're, if we're talking about a peak we're, we're, we're going to talk about bill russell and, and will, will chamber we're not going to talk about jordan but um when we're talking about who 
Who would Who's be right the behind them? Who did things? Who did things that no one has done in the game of basketball? We're going to talk about LeBron James, and we're going to talk about Wilt Chamberlain. We're going to talk about Bill Russell, and LeBron James is going to be number one because he has done more things than anybody in the history of basketball that no one has ever done before. And we have the stats, and we have the facts to to back it up. Again, Simple my argument is his accumulation does not impress me as the much argument as is his career. Peak. The argument is his career. His career. We're, we're not talking about a cumulative longevity. Yes, we're talking about uh, you don't NBA get to career. decide the definition of what goat is, right? That's my argument. And if you want to try and dispel it, that's fine. But again, if you ask the average NBA person, manager, whatever, they want the dominance. They want the winning. They want the peak. That is ultimately okay. what they want. If right, so, let they me won't. Ask you, hold on, right. let, me, let me ask you this. And, just, okay, and Jordan's you, right behind him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> You're telling me if I was an NBA GM and you told me I was going to get a player to give me nine NBA seasons and I would get six, seven scoring titles and I would get two or three MVPs, luckily win three championships because we can't guarantee championships because of a player. So, you're asking if a GM was going to take a player who played nine years at his ultimate peak while another player played his, his peak for 20 seasons. LeBron le legitimately has three peaks in his career, within his career, if you want to break down peaks. Because it's really not a peak. He has a plateau. Since 2006 till today, LeBron James averages over 25 points per game, over seven rebounds, and over seven assists. It never changed. How do you never define changed. the three peaks of LeBron? Okay. The, again... We are talking about championships. Championships does not make Michael Jordan the GOAT. It's a good indicator. You no, just brought up Bill Russell. Are why does Bill why does Bill's are rings count me, but Jordan's don't? Let me speak. Why are do Bill's rings speak? count and Jordan's don't? Bill Russell rings do count. Only so do Jordan's. Jordan fans eliminate Bill Russell's rings. I never did that. I said he was second. Okay, listen again to what I tell you. Whatever you're using to trump Bill Russell's five more NBA championships that Michael Jordan does not have, I have enough to trump Jordan's two from LeBron to Jordan. I have enough to trump two NBA championships. I, first of all, I never dismissed only, Bill. Oh, wait, LeBron's only, meaning he is the only player to do this. Your, your guy doesn't have these type of records. He only did three things by himself, all right? He doesn't even have the points per game average per season by himself, because that's him and Wilt Chamberlain tied together at 30.1. What, so what did Wilt get in the playoffs? Again, Jordan. What, what it will average in the playoffs? Do you, you even know? Average, Do you even yes, know? Twenty-two points per game. There you go. Okay. What does that mean? That means when it counted most, he didn't do as good. And twenty-four. That's rebounds. false. That's false. That means when it counted the most, he became a team player. And and got what for it? Huh? Being a team player, did he lead his team to rings? When he retired. When he retired. Besides anybody on the Celtics, he was the only player with multiple championships. It's hard to say he's a better team player. He doesn't have as many rings. Mute this man, please. Mute this man, please, because he doesn't let people speak. Wait, wait. What did you say just now about the multiple championship? I couldn't hear that. When Will Chamberlain retired from the NBA in 1974, besides anybody on the Boston Celtics or the Mike and Lakers, he was the only one with multiple championships. When oh, he okay. I couldn't, when, I couldn't hear. We went to both talk, and I couldn't hear retired. that. Yes, when he retired. Yeah, I just love hear. I love hearing the. I love hearing that type of things. Yes, That's yes. cool to me. When, when, <laughs> when he, when Will Chamberlain retired, he had the two best NBA season records with the Philadelphia uh, uh, 76ers and with the Los Angeles Lakers. He yep, had the thirty-three had, in a row. He had the longest winning streak in NBA history, which still I think it took LeBron James heat to surpass. If I'm correct, if they, they didn't. Okay. No. So, no one's surpassed 33 so, yet. No. Will Chamberlain he has just three, with 27. Will Chamberlain was in an era which was considered the toughest era in NBA history. He had to face the greatest winner in NBA history. He still won two NBA titles in that era. He still won four MVPs in that era. Will Chamberlain's numbers are not to be denied. Even if we want to talk Bill Russell, statistically, 20 rebounds per game, 22 rebounds per game is just as dominant as 30 points per game. 22,000 rebounds is just as great as 30,000 points scored. So not only does Bill Russell have the championships, he has the MVPs and the stats to go behind it. When we're He's also the third highest assist uh, average of any center ever. Yeah, and that's only because Jokic showed up. For so is Russell yeah. the GOAT? In y'all's uh, opinion, he was number one. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. Prior to that, prior to that, it was just him and only him and Will average over four assists. So, Will, so Russell's the goat. Yeah. No. Again. Oh, okay. Why? All these standing, reasons why he is. Wait, but he's wait, not. wait. 
by, by, your, by, by your standard, standard he, is. he is the GOAT. Because by our standards, because when you asked me what make LeBron James the GOAT, I told you he accomplished everything, stats, accolades, and achievements. When it comes to stats, LeBron James, like I said, averages 27 points per game over 1,400 games. You can't find me anybody who's played that many much games that average more than 25 besides Carl Malone. Look, okay, that th- this is just more. this is. Oh, wait, I'm not. Wait. I'm not impressed by He's, accumulation oh, of stats. Average, okay, that's I, that's a per average. I just gave you average. This is, look, you're you're being biased now, right? These matter to me because it fits the LeBron I didn't narrative. I say that matter, but I'm giving you great accomplishments. It's the same thing you, either way. No, it's not because you devalue it. That doesn't. I never mean, devalued I devalue anything. It. Listen, NMB, you're getting exposed by the exposure. Pay attention. Listen closely. Just saying someone's you, exposed doesn't mean anything. We to me. gave you five minutes. You couldn't even do five. I'm going to expose you in less than Because <laughs> I did it in three. I don't need five because I, I did it in three. I'm going to expose three minutes right now within three minutes. You, you haven't. Speak, you, have, you haven't. You haven't let me because you don't let people speak. That's what y'all do. You don't yeah. let people speak. Again, LeBron James averaged 27 points per game for over 1,400 NBA games. You're not going to find nobody who has 1,400 games or more average over 25 besides him and Carl Malone. He averages over seven assists and over seven rebounds for over 1,400 games. The only player that averages over 25 points per game, seven rebounds and seven assists is LeBron James and Oscar Robinson. So per game averages, LeBron James is automatically great. If we go to the totals, which you would love to dismiss by saying longevity, which I would love for you to define longevity when I'm done. LeBron James is the only NBA player to have 30,000 points, 10,000 assists, 10,000 rebounds. He's the only player to have 29,000 points, 9,000 assists, 9,000 rebounds. He's the only player to have 28,000 points, 8,000 assists, 8,000 rebounds. He's the only player to have 27,000 points, 7,000 rebounds, and 7,000 assists. In fact, today the NBA posted the top 10 greatest scores of all time, and they added Kevin Durant because they go by totals, not by averages. And they had LeBron James as number one, the NBA. Totals tell you how great a player's career has been. His peak tells you how good he was for a short period of time. Stockton's the best passer of all time? Yes, he has over 15,000 assists. Can you find (laughs) anybody with better passing? All right. So it's just totals. It it's just totals is all that matters. No, 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 no. Again, totals are a part of it. I gave you the averages. LeBron or, the, or the averages when you define them during certain no, times. I, I define them as to what they are. Can you tell me anybody? So who has the greatest points per game? Who cares about your averages and totals? Uh, again, Jordan cannot average 27 points per game for 1,400 games. Averaging 30 points per game tied with Will Chamberlain does not make Jordan the goal. I would rather have that than the 27 and not as many rings to show for it. Doesn't matter. And to I would me. Rather, no, again, you're again. That's your subjectiveness. That's your biases. Because whatever Jordan has, you and your bias is that accumulation of question. totals matters. Is it doesn't. Jordan's, is Jordan's thirty points per game more valuable than Wilt Chamberlain's thirty points per game? Technically, yeah, he technically averaged more it's by a little bit. Te- technically, how? Points if you actually look at the total breakdown, like if right. you throw in a few more decimal Who's, points, it is higher. Who has the better field goal percentage, Jordan or LeBron? Where did they play? What position did they play? By field goal percentage. <laughs> They, they, they play Jordan NBA has basketball. a lower one. What's wait, wait, your wait, point? Wait. You, uh, so, okay, so as long as you accept. Would you rather that, shoot 45 and accept, for 30 points per game in the listen, playoffs or shoot 22 for accept, 50% in the playoffs? Accept, if you accept 500 of a point per game as a stat valuable enough to make someone better, then you should appreciate 10, a 7 tenths of a point more. Will you guys bring up three point percentage? It's only what two two percent in the regular season. Jordan actually shoots better in the in the playoffs. Three point percentage. So yes, because Jordan. We, we can the, do the whole. You're 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 line. getting on this. You're getting in these little like oh well, point no, oh one. You guys not. do it too. No, it's not because again, did we deny Jordan's field goal percentage and say that Jordan didn't have a higher field goal percentage in the playoffs? I don't know. Did you? You so you acknowledge in the no, playoffs he's a better it, three point shooter. We didn't deny it. We, no, so say Jordan is a better three has, point percentage no, shooter Jordan, in the playoffs. No, no, no. What is? A oh no. So size? you can't say hold it. Wait, okay. Hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. What's a better sample size? The the thousand shots it. that they took during the regular season, or the little two hundred shots or hundred shots they took in the in the postseason? I what care about when did, if you make shots when it counts. That is what matters. The regular season don't count to you. That's why you're casual. I didn't say it didn't count. I said what okay, matters then. more. So, it okay, matters more. Again. I'm it matters more. You again, Playoffs matter more. You, what tells you, again, that's being subjective. What tells you the better barometer? Michael Jordan, who shot a total of 1,700 three-pointers in the regular season, or Michael Jordan taking 400 in the playoffs? Which one tells you is, is, is Jordan's true shooting 
which one would give you the better evaluation of his shooting? I guess both, right? You count them both. Okay, you want to count both? Okay, so let's let's do that. What's the difference? Are, like one percent? No, no, let's do let's do the math. Do the total. Take, let's do the math. Let's do the math. You you right? You, um, you, the, 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 uh, what's the, the total the three point percentage? Right yeah, the numbers up here now. Just just so you guys know the numbers. These are the percentages from LeBron and Jordan in the postseason. I added Kobe as well. So, so, so yeah, it's Jordan, like a one percent difference. Not a one percent difference. You listen, Jordan's one and a half. Point, hold on, wait, hold on, wait. Jordan's three point percentage ended up being a tick better than LeBron, point one better than LeBron after this past postseason. Because prior to this postseason, LeBron was ahead of him. So you're going to dismiss Jordan, Jordan being point seven points less on field goal percentage, but except the point one that he's higher than the What is the barrier for being so much better at something that you have to acknowledge it? You, you tell me. 1%, the 2%? You, the, the stat tells you, if I shoot better than you, that means I shoot better than you. That's what it tells me. Okay, would you rather shoot better in the playoffs or the, or the regular season? LeBron James shoots better in the playoffs. For three-point? Not from three pointer. No. Oh, well, you, and you, you, you average more points, points per game. So you want? So wait. So you would rather have the guy who shoots better from the three point line in general? That's what you saying. I'm just saying that's one thing. There's no, no magic I, bullet. There's no magic bullet to any of this. It's it's everything in in a snapshot. It's not just one no, thing. I I go with the guy that has the most 30 10 playoff games. The guy that has the most 40 and 10 playoff games. The guy who has the most 30 point playoff games. The guy who has the most 35 and five playoff games. That's the guy I would go with. Okay, I'll take the MVPs and the dominance and the defensive player of the year and the rings and the finals MVPs. I'll take all that over your stats. And I, and out of all of those things, the only thing Jordan holds by himself is the finals MVP. So what you're basically saying is that you're- What do you mean holds player. by himself? Yeah, yeah, he doesn't have the most MVPs. He doesn't have the most rings. He doesn't have the most- Right, but he's second in years. MVPs. Again, he doesn't have the most. So you're making him better. The argument is not that you have to be the best at a particular category to be the good. And LeBron is third. LeBron has four. Okay, LeBron so he's behind third. Jordan. LeBron is second in finals MVPs. LeBron is second in, 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 uh, in uh, third in MVP. And, right behind and 10 tries, I'm not that impressed. With 10 tries, again, that means that means LeBron won more conference titles than Jordan. So yeah, he and he, dude, I could have ran through the Eastern it. Conference when he was on the Cavaliers, no, you, you bro. You can't even run through our, our debate well. Bro, no, he played like 40-win teams when he was running through the first and second round in the Eastern okay, Conference, bro. Come on, case, man. Why, okay, okay, if that's the case, why did LeBron James beat more teams that have a better record than his team than Jordan did? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Winning's winning. How, how does it matter? I thought you said I have to. I have to go winning. look at it because I've seen several videos where – that's not the case. So it depends on how no, you no, no, count no, no, that. No, 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 no. Again, I am going to repeat what I told you because you don't listen. That's what you Jordan fans don't do. LeBron you can't say James, I don't listen when I'm acknowledging listen, everything you say. LeBron James beat more teams that have a better record than his team has than more Jordan teams did. Or percentage. Listen. More teams listen, or percentage. Again, he. Uh, listen again. Pay attention or to what wins. I'm the teams. More teams, he, right? He beat more teams that won more games than his team, than Jordan did. So if you're using team record to state what team is better than the next team. Again, it's a longevity team, argument. Again, No, it's not longevity. Again, yeah. against, again, listen, you're not paying attention. If and he's not using, even like the best player on his team half the time. Rex, you see what's going on, Rex. You see this, right, Rex? You see it, right, Rex? This is why. This is this is why. This is why. Go, All right, go ahead, man. R Rex. Just run because off your stats like, again for five like MMB, minutes. Cannot handle stats. They can't handle talking basketball. They have to interrupt you. They have to get personal. They have to start telling you that you are being subjective when they're the ones who are being subjective. I am explaining stats to him, and he doesn't want to understand. If you're going to say that LeBron James played in a Eastern Conference because of team records, and you're using the team records, then why did Michael Jordan lose to more teams? Why did LeBron beat more teams than Jordan did that had better records than him? That means LeBron he played beat more longer. teams that were better than his. No, it's he not. Played more seasons. It doesn't. It doesn't matter what season. Even in the first fifteen seasons, if we go again, Jordan did not win until he had a team. He could not win. Everybody a does team. that. That's an argument but, only used against Jordan. It goes both ways. Jordan. No, it's not because you're because you're going to ignore winning outside of the finals. Wait, and so when I so tell you LeBron wins more playoff games. Jordan needed a team, series, but LeBron didn't. I didn't say that. I'm telling well, you that you're crediting you're winning to Jordan when uh, the, the winning is to be a credit to the team. We've always credited LeBron James' team for why his teams win because teams win, not players. But LeBron James does his part. He is he, listen. He is top ten in over twelve playoff categories. He's top five in seven of them. Do you understand that, dude? I get the accumulation of stats argument. No Kevin, one is denying that. 
You are denying it because you're saying it's not great. It's not as great as a peak. That's it's, my argument. Jordan doesn't have the best peak. LeBron's peak is better than Jordan's peak. No, it's not. Not yes, by any he objective measure. 25 points per game for 19 seasons. Jordan never did that. Jordan oh, yeah, Jordan played seven seasons at his peak. It's not better than 19. The stat I mentioned earlier I was trying to get out is uh, Jordan's the only player to lead his team in four out of five categories for an entire season. That was the one I was trying to get out. That's false. Anthony Davis did it in 2020 and so did another player. Oh. That's false. With the, oh, Davis did that for LeBron? Yeah, in 2020, oh, Davis okay. did league in points. Okay. Did league must be nice to have a player points. like that on your team. Uh, no, you know, it must be really nice to have an all-defensive player and an all-NBA player on your roster on the same t on the same season. LeBron only had that one time. The difference being that Jordan was always better than those guys. LeBron's got to get LeBron bailed out by Ray Allen, Kyrie LeBron Irving, Anthony Davis, follow Dwayne Wade. Guys. He's better than all those guys. LeBron is better than all those guys. Not when it mattered fact, most. Scottie Not when it Pippen, mattered most. And Scottie Pippen is better than all those guys as well. Not when it mattered most. What do you mean? Scottie Pippen has six championships. Who? So who hits? Who hits all the clutch shots in the playoffs for LeBron's teams? Who makes all the clutch plays? Scottie Pippen. Who makes the clutch steals? The, the clutch. clutch Scottie Pippen made clutch about? plays. That's why. Yes. That's why Jordan had the oh, steal boy. and the shot on Karl Malone oh, and Russell. He makes the tough plays because guess who was sticking John Stockton to keep John Stockton from scoring? Scottie Pippen. <laughs> so what? Who who has all who has more all defensive teams? All defensive teams. Yo, you are getting all defensive teams. We're eating again. No, you're not. Chicken. This is dude. This Jordan is, is better than Scotty all across the board. We didn't say Jordan wasn't better than Scotty. Who said you're saying that? he's got to make the plays? That's not true. Who said Jordan that? made the plays? You try to insinuate Kyrie. Jordan Irving made the plays. LeBron. No, we told you that that he had a better player than than LeBron had, and that's the facts. So Scottie is LeBron Pippen guarding the best player? All the time? LeBron, he was. He was. No, dude, come on. Yes, he was. Who was guarding Derrick Rose? No, no, no. Who was guarding Derrick Rose? Hold LeBron does not Derrick guard Rose. the best player. In one quarter? Uh, for one quarter? No. I that was one who, game in one quarter. Who has Jordan shut down? Name one series Jordan shut down a play. Bro, Name if you win nine all defensive teams, first team and a defensive player of the year, the only player to stats, twice bro. get 200, 200 steals and 100 stats. blocks. Answer the question. What you do in the regular season has nothing to do with the playoffs. Who did Jordan shut down in the playoffs to win championships? You had to guard, I'm sure, Gary Payton. He played Gary Payton. He had to play all kinds of people. He's guarding 6'3 Gary, Gary Payton. Um, well, hold up. Scott, Scotty Pepp, Gary Payton said it himself. He was giving Jordan a business, but as soon as they switched Scotty Pippen on him, he couldn't score anymore. So this is from Gary Payton's mouth. Y'all are using one quarter where LeBron guard Derrick Rose to make your point. Like, I don't think that's the only it's thing it is. It's not one quarter. It was one quarter. Derrick Rose said it himself. It was one quarter. They switched LeBron on him. It was three games in a row, and Derrick Rose said he couldn't even. He couldn't LeBron even does not put the Derek clamps on anybody, man, ever. That's what Derrick Rose said. I'm not. I'm not going by what you For think. For one but quarter, that's what I'm not stated. impressed. That's what Derrick Rose stated. So do you think well, defensive player, player of the year? Do you think defensive player of the year is a what actually happened? You know what? And then be, let's let Rex save you because he seems to be the only objective and smart basketball fan in your whole channel. Go ahead, Rex. Right. What What happened was that that was the the iconic moment was the score was tied at the end of regulation in game four of that series and they went one-on-one -on -one, isolated d rose and lebron switched on to him he was not called the defender he he on the court made the call to switch on to d rose rose couldn't get past him he went between his legs all, all the fancy stuff Ended up settling for a fall away with uh, LeBron in his face, and he airballed it. And then they lost the series. That's one. You know, play. they lost it in overtime. That was the iconic play. How many minutes he actually covered him, and what his scoring was with LeBron on him throughout that series, I have no clue. But that is the iconic moment was when they were going with the score tied, the Knicks were going for the win. D. Rose was isolated, right side, top of the key. LeBron switched to him, deed him up, and Rose could do nothing and airballed a shot at the buzzer. That would have won the game. They ended up losing in overtime. One play. Yeah, uh, you, you mentioned moment. you mentioned one steal. You mentioned one. Steal wait, wait, just acknowledge it was like one play. You yeah. said it was a whole no, series or something. No, it you was not you one play. It was not you one play. You mentioned one play of Jordan stealing the ball. Does Clyde Drexler count? Ball. 
Drexel. When did he shut Clyde Drexler? Clyde Drexler averaged twenty five points a game. Clyde Drexler. When did he uh, shut Clyde, Clyde Drexler? Yeah, Clyde Drexler out? averaged his his season averages in ninety two. Uh, that's not bad. They Tell were me. less than Jordan, but he averaged his season averages in the finals. Mm-hmm. I just looked that one up last week. Yeah, I even supposed to. Who is the player that Jordan locked down for a series that had less numbers than like what he usually gets? Well, when he covered Myron, Stockton in the finals, Stockton uh, really suffered. That was Pippen. Pippen always guarded. That the was Scotty Pippen. Jordan never John guarded Stockton. Stockton. Is that stated. your official stance? John Stockton even stated it was Scotty Pippen. Is your official John stance Stockton Jordan never Pippen. guarded Stockton? He no, guarded, stance, but John no, Stockton stance, stated, yeah. No, yeah, our stance is that Jordan wasn't the primary defender, nor was he there to guard Stockton to slow down. The person that was used to slow down Stockton was Scottie Pippen and Ron Harper. Jordan had the best defender in his era to help him play defense. And then they added... No, because Jordan was the best defender of his era. No, he wasn't. <laughs> yes, Pippen he was. was it's not Scottie even Pippen close. Scottie Pippen was better. No. Who has Jordan twice like Jordan that? twice got 200 steals, 100 blocks, nine-time All-Defensive Player the of the Year, uh, first it. team, Scottie Defensive has 10 Player of the Year. All-Defensive selections. Scotty has 10 All-Defensive selections. He and he, he didn't. Yes. And he still yes. didn't average. He still didn't average what Jordan averaged. Yes, he does. He averages two steals per game. He's top 10 in steals. What Jordan averaged? Steals per game. What Jordan, Jordan average? averaged? Two steals. 2.3. 2.3. Oh, 2.3. Okay. It doesn't matter. You guys love Again. stats when when it suits you, no, but you don't. You don't bring up context. Because the players who average more than Jordan, you don't acknowledge it. Average what? So you, gonna, oh, you, you pick so little you gonna, snipshots oh, yeah. so, of like, oh, here so and here they Baron, average. Oh, yeah. Is Baron, Davis, Davis, is Baron Davis a better defender than Michael Jordan since he averaged more steals than Michael Jordan in the playoffs where he matters the most? No. Okay, then. So then, then why right, are you using yeah. it now? Okay, well, then so your stats don't matter it? either. Yeah, because it yeah. doesn't matter unless it's Jordan to you. Whatever Jordan did. Same matter, with LeBron. You just... You no, just ran no, it for five no. minutes about stats no, with LeBron. MLB, we just praised Bill Russell. We just praised John Stockton. We just praised Will Chamberlain. We just praised Scottie Pippen. We and I didn't. Every, when did no, I say I don't praise them? Nobody but Michael Jordan in, at this point. You have not praised not one player but Michael Jordan. I would you love to see. I would love to see you player. clip out when I when I dog oh, those this other is guys. Be recorded. I, like, I'm, I'm recording it too. Say, I'm going to put it up. Wait, your homeboy said LeBron plays no defense. Well, the defensive win shares. LeBron James was top 10 in 2020. Uh, he was top 15 in 2016. He was top 10 in 2013. That was just just, just the last 10 years, right? If you want to go to defensive box plus minus, LeBron James was top 10 in, in 2021. He was 18th in 2020. He was 18th in 2019. He was 11th in 2016. But he doesn't play no defense. Defensive rating. LeBron James is up there. With, he's Right now, it, it, he was top five in defensive rating in 2021. You guys make up things without using real numbers or stats. You're, you're can, can I ask a question? Because I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, fo- Sorry, I don't follow, yeah, so I don't, I don't know these things. How do they come up with that defensive rating stat? Yes, defensive rating is based on when you're on the floor and how many points a team scores per 100 possessions. So it's basically based on how many points your team scores while you're on the floor with them for per 100 possessions. So when they say okay, the point, that, yeah, all right, no, that that was originally a hockey stat yes. that they brought over to basketball. Then okay, all right, yeah. I understand that. So so, so if you go into the bench uh-huh. and the other team goes on a big run while you're on the bench, that's not counted against you. Yeah, no, exactly. But if if you're okay, on the, all right, yeah, exactly. So the, basically, what they're saying when LeBron James is uh, 104 rating means that for every 100 possessions, a team scores 104 points while LeBron's on the floor. But it, that it's not because of LeBron, because like you said, those 100 possessions are predicated on when you're playing, who's on your team with you. You see what I'm saying? Michael Jordan's defensive rating is slower than is, is higher than than Scottie Pippen. So we're gonna say Scottie Pippen is better than Michael Jordan because of defensive rating? No. Again, these guys want to use stats when it fits their narrative for Jordan, but it doesn't fit for anyone else. Dog, so you do the same not, thing. No, we're not. Everything. Oh, so your stats are better. Okay. No, okay. Let me ask you a question. Do we ignore totals? No. We don't think LeBron James is the only one that has 30,000 points. We recognize he's the only one with 39,000. But we recognize those that scored 36, those that scored 33, those that scored 32, those that scored 30. We recognize all of these stats. There's not a stat that you're going to talk about that we don't recognize. We don't look for negative stats. Because if we want to look up negative stats, we can bring up Michael Jordan's field goal uh, 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 missed shots. He led the league seven times in missed field goals. Jordan fans don't want to talk about that. Jordan has five losing seasons. If we mention how many times somebody had a winning season, a third of Jordan's career was losing. He didn't even get to 41 wins in a season. 
if we if we bring up the most playoff uh, uh, appearances, Jordan's nowhere near that. He has 13. The highest is 19. Jordan is not the greatest at anything other than what you perceive him to be at. That's just the facts. His per we'll game totals things. are essentially it top five. Tied Either all time with, or with fourth Chamberlain. position. Tied with Chamberlain. It's a, it's a, that means he's tied. That means it's equal. He, him and somebody else owns that, that, that record. What other record are you going to bring up Jordan has? Bring it up. Dude, the, you, cannot, you cannot bring up that stat without bringing up the playoff drop-off that Wilt Chamberlain had. Okay, why did Wilt Chamberlain playoff numbers drop from, 20, from 30 points to 22? You said it's because he was a better team player, but there's really nothing to show that. He doesn't have any championships yes, yes. to show uh, for Nick, it. You're actually uh, a, you're having right, a higher you're, assist number right. or something like that he doesn't went, prove went, that you're right. making your team he went, better. He went from 25 shots per game to 13 shots per game. And that's okay, what were the results? Game. Two, two more, two more championships. Two champions. So only two. two so two he MVPs. became a better right. team player two, and won two, two championships, two MVPs. Okay, the rebounding champ, the scoring title record at the end of his career. All of that was accumulated when Will Chamberlain retired, my friend. I'd rather what have a ball hog about? and win six rings. What? I'd rather win eleven rings. Okay, so so Jordan's second in that. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he's your goat. Then he's not your goat. Do you not understand the accumulative weight argument? Doesn't no, Kareem you you're, understand? you're using you the understand? fact that Jordan wait, 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 is not wait, wait. number one at something and holding wait, wait, wait. it against NMB, him. Do you understand everything that you stated that makes Michael Jordan the GOAT doesn't make Michael Jordan the GOAT? Do you understand that? Do you everything understand you that just answer? because you are not number one at something is not as if you're not the greatest? That's not that's not a thing. So if I accomplish something more than you have, I can't be considered greater than you? Again, if we took ten players, here's I'll I'll make an example for you. We take ten players, right? And we have we have ten categories, correct? And in each category, one of the 10 players ends up being number one, a different player of the 10. But another player gets second or third in all of the categories. Do you understand? That is a bigger accumulative weight and accomplishment and achievements and accolades and stats and all that stuff you mentioned than the fact that one guy was a better here and one guy was better there. If Jordan's coming in top five across the board on so many things, that is a cumulative weight that matters more than the fact that one guy got one here, another guy got first it's here. False. Jordan is not top five across the board. You keep saying that he's not. I, I'm not being literal. All right, like steals per game, right? Points per game for his if it, for his position, he is the best shot blocking and one of the top five rebounding guards of all time. Two categories that for his position, right? He's not going to be in the all time. He's not top five of all time. He's not top five of all in time. What? So. All in time, what? Shot blocking point guard blocks. Yeah, he's he essentially is the best shot blocks. blocking per game guard of all time. I think Dwayne Wade but has not more. The best of all time. You're defining best as just accumulating more. That's not. No, we're defining that can best be amongst all players. Again, he it's doesn't all have more time. average more. It's doesn't it's have more all average more. Time. You cannot exclude things when all is in the discussion. That means everything must be included. You can't just say, "Well, it's because." I am. In, what am I not including? Nobody cares about what Jordan does in his position. What does he do compared to the, all the greatest players that ever played the game? Dwayne Wade is not even a top twenty player on your list. So why are you comparing him to Dwayne Wade? Who brought up Dwayne Wade? Oh, I'm, I'm talking did. about shot blocking. I'm talking about shot blocking. Yeah, you're talking about shot blocking. You're just for a guard. Than, because because he's better than Dwayne Wade at shot blocking that makes him the greatest player of all time. No. Yes, like if you are if you play point guard, right, and you are like the best shot blocking point guard, no one is expecting you to get as many blocks as Kareem Abdul Jabbar. I've never heard it does matter. It shows another area of dominance. He does not have the same amount of blocks. He's not even close. Matter of fact, Jordan averages 0.8 blocks. But LeBron, who you consider don't play no defense. He plays he play small forward. He's not even top 10 in any categories for a small forward he besides points. He's not a block per game. He's not that great at blocking shots. Stop the shit. Stop so it. does LeBron. Hold he on, has point eight two. On, on. He's not a small forward and a shooting four guard four averaging position. the same amount of blocks. Which one is more impressive? The shooting guard. Easy. And and what about the assists? The, the, the small forward who averaged more assists than the guard. Yeah, but he plays point guard. That, that's not really the, the comparison you think it is. Yeah, I know, I know. You, you, you are he, he has the ball in his hands all I'm the time. Take a break because I've been exposing him so much. That You're I not, bro. You're not. This is, this is great. Go James Kingdom, y'all. This is what we do to Michael Jordan fans who can't talk basketball. He is a pure example of why we exist. Rex, you need to keep killing these guys because I know you fight hard for the 60s. And you fight hard for those players. And guys like this tell you these guys are not great. So Jordan could be boosted up some high on some high pedestal. You know damn well Wilt Chamberlain was greater than Jordan in his peak. You know that. Well, Wilt, I mean, Wilt was just, yeah. I mean. Thank you. Being 25. Jordan, Wilt had the natural advantage. <laughs> so did Jordan. Jordan was playing against Craig Elo, my friend. 
Dennis oh, Johnson. I know. No, you don't have to tell me. I have a Dennis total said, list. Exactly. I have exactly. a list. Yeah. I have a list of every uh, shooting guard that Jordan played against from his first game ever to his last game ever. And most of them were smaller and shorter than him. Rex, your mic yeah, is, he, had, he had an average of a two-inch advantage yes, most over the like average six, shooting guard at, at the yeah. time. And athleticism, just like Will Chamberlain. It wasn't just because Will Chamberlain was 7'1". Yeah. Seven, but, eight, well, that was something that I brought up, though, after you guys left the other uh, live chat. Is And I don't know. Once again, I'm not a fan. I don't watch basketball. I haven't watched basketball in a decade. Yo. So I'm going off what other people have said and then just the what you see on YouTube. Hey, Rex. Uh, I'm from blue. Chicago, uh, so I got to watch him a lot, Michael Jordan. So when I yes. listen to a lot of people talk Jordan, I know they didn't see him play. Because if you say it, Michael Jordan is a better defender than Scottie Pippen, no one said that during that time. No one, not one person. So when you I mean, his say teammates like, and his you coach don't say that. From, his teammates so and coach don't say that. that. Y'all basing it on numbers because the numbers say differently. I'm His teammates and coach. I don't. I don't have to base it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have to base it off numbers. Scotty numbers ain't the all in be all, bro. But I, I don't understand. I don't. But here's the thing. It's all about Scotty guarded. Scotty guarded, but not the numbers to say what's. But that's like the not, thing that I that I don't get, it's not even it's not even about that. It's about how long was your defense elite. To prove that? It's about how long your defense was elite at a consistent level. If and when you have a player like Michael Jordan, that you have to keep in mind that you won that he won ten scoring titles. With him winning ten score titles, nine of those that he won, he also was first team All NBA defense. He's the only player in NBA history to do those two things. It's never been another NBA player to be first team defense and be and be and win a scoring title more than once than Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan. But Kobe did it twice. This man did it for nine straight seasons. I that's think Jerry West got league. one actually. But, but, that's, West, but that's also th- a position. That, that, that's I a position said, though. Hold on, let me that's finish. Let me finish real quick, Ray. I just said that. That more than once, Jerry West had did it once. Kobe and Mike thought the ones that do do it more than once, but Kobe did it twice. That ain't nothing compared to Michael. They did it nine times. Nine times. So think about how elite level he playing on both sides of the court while putting up these scoring numbers. Like scoring? we could talk about Wilt and Wilt what all he did, but the facts is and can't deny he was a playoff drop. It don't got nothing to do with his sister playmaker. You don't go from averaging 50 in the regular to just averaging 28 in the playoffs, sir. That's crazy. That's well, that didn't happen. Almost, that, that, you know, that's, there, there's a lot of stuff that y'all are throwing out the window. And the one thing that you need to understand when, it, when you're a fan is you need to try and comprehend situation and circumstance. I mean, Will played an NBA final with a broken shooting hand. Did you really expect him to average 30 a game? There's one Is finals. that even a realistic achievement? There's one finals. Okay. How many he went to? So you're going to give him the same excuse for every finals? No, no I'm not giving him an excuse. Right. I, I have he no favorite player, finals. dude. I have no – you He's need to understand. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I don't care. I'm telling you what happened. You guys are doing. I this don't is what care. Rex, 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 this is the problem. This is what they're doing. They're, what they're telling us is, is that, well, Will Chamberlain can average 39 points, 40 points in the regular season, but for some reason in the playoffs, he was shut down. He can't do it. He could step up to the plate. It's well, when he averaged 40 it's points fall. a game, he wasn't making the playoffs. Listen, hold on, His listen. team wasn't good. Listen, between so he didn't, play. he didn't play in the finals. This is, this is why we talk stats and we talk real achievements. That's because all that stuff. Listen, Will Chamberlain prove between it. between you 19, call me a liar, prove listen, it. Listen, listen, I'm gonna prove him wrong right now. Between 1960 and 1966, for those seven seasons, Will Chamberlain averaged. Uh, I'm sorry, hold on, wait. Let me see here. Uh, he averaged 39 points per game. Let me just make sure I get this correct because I don't want to be off. I like to be right. All right. So he 95, averaged 30, 96 in the playoffs. He averaged he's a, he averaged he averaged 39.6 points per game, shooting 51 percent from the field and 31 attempts per game. That was what Will Chamberlain was averaging for those seven seasons. During those same playoffs, Will Chamberlain averaged 33 points per game, which is just six points different at 50.5, which is just 0.5 less in field goal uh, uh, percentage. And he took five less shots per game. 
Wilt Chamberlain was not shut down because he took five less shots per game. He was still averaging 32 points per game, 26 rebounds, and three assists, shooting 50% from the field. He was not and averaged 30 rebounds shut. a game in one of those series. And he was not being shut down. Now, to mention what I was telling you about him being a better team player, after that 66 season, Wilt Chamberlain decided to stop shooting the ball a lot. He went from taking, like I said, over 30 shots per game to taking 15 shots per game. And between those, that's the that's the time he made the playoffs the most in his career. He played the most playoff games. He won the most during that era. And he went to averaging 18 points per game, but he went down to shooting 13 shots per game because he was told to not shoot anymore. He That was Why his job. Not going, Joe, when they told because he was, wasn't playing a winning style. Did. He so what happened? What happened basketball. for the five years he after he won that first ring? Yes, why doesn't the logic follow for the next that five years? On, that wasn't the year he won the first ring. Won, I know, but the, the, why doesn't that listen, logic follow for the next five pay years? Pay attention. He made the he made the finals in '64 for the first time in his career. Then he made the finals again in '67. They won the championship. They had the best record in NBA history. He was the champion league MVP. How much he averaged that year? That year he averaged in a regular season in 1967. He averaged 24 points per game. Shooting 14 that's shots. The year, that's the year they won a championship? That's the year they won a championship, 1967. All right, well, look Dang. at the numbers and look what the numbers are telling you. The number, what the numbers are, I don't just look at numbers and just be like, oh, he averaged this and all that. I'm looking at what the numbers are telling me. The numbers mm -hmm. telling me is when you when the ball was leased out your hand, like when you're not averaging 50 and 30, your team was more successful. That's the same thing for Jordan. And that's why I yes, find it weird Jordan fans. I find I find it weird that Jordan fans love to diminish Wilt Chamberlain when him and, and Wilt Chamberlain have identical careers. The, Jordan's best season scoring was when he had the ball in his hand the most and taking the most shots. When he was told to stop shooting as much and to pass the ball and be a more team player, he started winning more. When they put yeah, the ball but how many in times hand, Jordan averaged, but how many times he did average 30 in the regular, they averaged 30 in the playoffs, and they won, though. It's the consistency of Jordan, his numbers. No, because Jordan never took less than 23 shots per game. Will Chamberlain okay. did. That's and he cool, won. It doesn't matter. That's what I'm saying, but, but it's, listen, it doesn't we're matter talking about, about if impact. Or not. That's not impact. You're, you're providing impact that's not fa factual because Jordan averaging 37 points per game leads to 40 win season. Doesn't lead to a championship. That's his best season scoring. Record. All right, listen, listen. I'm not even talking about the the year he averaged 37. What did he average from 91 to 93? Of course, you want to delete certain seasons. 91 to 93 is 31.4 points per game. That's not as high. 31.4 points. And what he okay. averaged in the playoffs? And what did he average in the playoffs? And then during those same playoffs between 94 and 93, he averaged 33.7. All right, so what that's giving me is consistency, but even a playoff rise. He went from thirty-one in the regular, went up to thirty-three in the play in, in the playoffs. That's yes. a playoff rise, that's, right no, there. No, no, that's not because he went because he went from shooting twenty-four shots per game to taking twenty-seven shots per game or twenty-six shots per game. He just shoots more. Shooting more don't make you better. Two, two, three times a game. That ain't that ain't nothing. What's this field goal? You're, you're already shooting twenty-three shots per game. That's 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 already above average for any player in that okay, area. Okay, but what's the field goal percentage? His field goal percentage was under fifty percent. Will yeah, Chamberlain? What? Okay, wait a minute. When Will Chamberlain decided to take fifteen shots per game in two in nineteen sixty-seven, he was shooting sixty-eight percent from the field. He was shooting, bro. Let's, bro. Let's keep it honest, bro. He was shooting sixty-eight percent because seven out of the nine, eight teams that was in the league, half of their sins was sixteen, bro. He was the and tallest Jordan, out of everybody, and bro. Jordan was taking twenty-four shots per game because he was playing against Hersey Hawkins, Craig Elo, and a bunch of bums who couldn't guard him. Yeah, and, but he still, and in the nineteen hundreds. Listen, but he, most of his points would still come within the paint. He still had to meet those bigger dudes that was in the paint that was bigger than him, and they threw and they tried to throw him down most of the time. Yeah, I'd have that's to go false. find the shooting stat, but essentially, if you take out dunks and layups, Jordan's a better shooter across the board. 19, 1991, the league added flagrant fouls, which means Jordan was no yes. longer being bullied by any centers in the paint. Look, look, look. Like, those like, are, like, those like are the numbers like, we're talking what, about. Uh -huh. like that this, applies to LeBron, too, though, right? When people look at field goal percentage, I hope, like, mm -hmm. it just comes since you know basketball. The big mm -hmm. men, a dude that played close to the basket, DLJ Jordan they even made records. His field goal mm -hmm. percentage is always going to be higher than even the, the most elite guard in the NBA. It's always, it's always. So, like, 
him him having a high field goal percentage, that's something that he's supposed to do. Like, we'll turn 68, 50 some percent, of course. But if I got Jordan shooting 47, 50 some percent while giving me 30 some points and his shit is going up, he he, he goes up and it leads to winning, it's working, that's impact showing. What okay. will show me in will numbers is that me, at your highest you level, you wasn't winning. Let me ask you this. Scottie Pippen shot 52% in 1991. Should Scottie Pippen take 20 shots per game because his field goal percentage is 52%? What? What? And how many? Hold on. He shot. He shot. Say it again. Scottie Pippen's field goal percentage was 52% in 1991. Should Scottie Pippen take 25 shots per game because his efficiency is over 50% like Jordan is? No, no. That's a bad so, analogy. So, it's not a bad analogy. You listen. Because uh, we know Pippen, Pippen can't score. Even when Jordan was around, he averaged the exact same shit. Like based that, that, on what? Oh, wait, wait. Based on what? He shoots over 50%. How is that, he not a good score? Scotty cannot create his own shot. Everyone knows that. There's a difference okay, between making know, open shots right. and being able to create based shots. Based off what? You never watched. So, st- so Steve Kerr is better than Steph Curry? What? Steve Kerr's got a better shooter. three point percentage all time, right? He's a better shooter. Is he, he shoots better because he can hit open threes? Nah, nah, he not Steve a Kerr, better Steve, shooter. Steve Kerr's, Steve Kerr's, Steve Kerr's gonna shake someone down and no. pull up in their face. No, Show no, me no. that highlight. No, I'd no, like no, to no. see that. Stephon Curry's Since a when player. is that the determination oh. of who the best per- player is? Oh, listen, when when you're talking about shooting, you go to efficiency, field goal percentage. When you're talking about scoring, you go to points. Stephon Curry's the better scorer. LeBron's the better scorer than Jordan. But He's a better shooter shooting, too. The point is, is that if, if if Michael Jordan can take 25 shots per game because his efficiency is 50%, that means any other player should be able to take 25 shots per game if their efficiency is above 50%. No, that doesn't track. No, no, no. That doesn't make sense. Look, because, it, because the lesser attempts – hold on, let me say this real quick. It's like with Steve Kerr. Yeah, Steve so just Kerr give Steve the, Kerr the ball, I guess. Steve Kerr, he got the highest Ooh. three-point percentage of all time, right, bro? Right. Yes. So with and him having him, the highest, and I'm gonna let him shoot whenever he wants. He can shoot threes whenever. Whenever he wants, he wants. Okay. you're gonna give okay. him the ball yes. and let him operate. Okay. To but look, three, dude, dude you have to watch basketball if you really think that. Listen, listen. So listen. Are, you telling, are you telling me giving Steve Kerr a three pointer is a bad ah, shot? Steve Kerr, ah, he's gonna break him down. He's gonna. He's always fading away. Yeah, yeah Steve Kerr down. really did that a lot. That's, that's why he has four teammates, Nick. I know that's, that's the point. He cannot create his own shot. He has to take the shot. He has to take the shot. You're telling me if we decided to let uh, Steve Kerr shoot threes, we would not know basketball? Is that what you're saying there? You're acting as if because someone simply is efficient, that means that they can do that consistently for 25 shots a game. Yeah, that doesn't can. track. Your efficiency says. Your efficiency no, your efficiency says, says you're hitting you open shot shots. Consistently. No, no, it, it don't. No, no, it doesn't. No, bro, 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 bro. So Steve Kerr is a good bro, as Steve Kerr is a better scorer you than Jordan. Making bad arguments. Or a better Didn't shooter than Jordan. Let me ask you a question. How does Scotty Pippen how I mean how does Scotty Pippen average fifty two percent efficiency? How, what kind of shots he's taking to shoot fifty two percent for the game? Well, to kind of use your defensive argument against Jordan, I'll use the offensive argument against Scotty. I guess everyone's focused on Jordan, so he gets open shots. Pippen only averaged fifty percent or more of two times during his career, and one yeah. time in the playoffs. So. I understand that Jordan only averaged over fifty percent ten times out of the ten seasons scoring title seasons fifty five half of the time fifty percent of the time. Jordan doesn't always shoot fifty percent. He actually shoots less than fifty percent for his career. Oh, so again, the, also so I already debunked again, the school career. Uh, no, no, career no, no, thing, no, so no, no, no. It's not the bump. Again, if I give Stephon Curry. 10 three pointers, and I give Steve Kerr 10 three pointers. It's more than likely Steve Kerr's gonna make more. That's not a game situation. Nah, that's a three point contest. Nah, that's, nah, that's, nah, that's not true, bro. That's a three point contest. How, going how, going how, by the numbers is true. Going how, by the numbers is true. How, that's not a no, game no, situation. Not, bro. You don't how know how Scottie, to look at a fit, How is really, Scotty Pippen shooting 52% from the field when Jordan's not a great playmaker? How is he getting Scotty those open shots? Is that a serious about, question? About, As if the about, defense is not focused on Jordan? Bro, because Jordan is playmaking. He set up the play. Just like with Steve Kerr. Y'all remember Scottie Steve Kerr? The 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 Y'all remember oh, Steve Kerr? Oh, my God, dude. Just, just, you're done, bro. That's just Scottie stupid. Scottie that's just stupid. Scottie, that's just stupid. Scottie, you need Pippen to sign off, Jordan. bro. You need that's to sign off. That's not sign. Pippen's a playmaker. You haven't Pippen's a playmaker? I'm snipping this. I'm snipping this. Scotty was the playmaker over Jordan. Good Lord. Scotty Pippen Jake, was absolutely Brandon, the playmakers Brandon, for the Chicago Bulls. Brandon, 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 they think okay. playmaking means running around without the basketball. They literally think that's playmaking. They don't know basketball. It's not what we said. Efficiency. 
Again, we talk you are, gravity. I, I, no, that's what they're talking. Explain to me how Jordan is a better playmaker than Scottie Pippen. Because it, it, it simply says what the word is. It's the word. It's okay, no, 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 no. Let's run this theory through. So when Jordan mm-hmm. left, when Jordan the left, how much better did Pippen like, do? He's a better playmaker. Uh, than he Scottie averaged Pippen. more points, more rebounds. How many? Blocks, how many more? Steals. How many more? He averaged, more? I, I think he, he averaged I 22 points per game, so he averaged like two more points them per game. Two more points, and wins. his efficiency went third. down across the board. No, his, oh wait, his, he, was, he was third in MVP voting in 1994. That's what Scottie Pippen was. That's how what, great what, what did Michael Jordan do without Scottie Pippen? What about Scottie, that? Scottie Pippen in 1993 yeah. shot 47% from the field. So that's, that's good. Bad. That's good. Oh, no, that's I'm good. sorry. That's the wrong year. I'm sorry. That's wrong. At 49%. His, it went up. In 93, he shot 47%. When Jordan left, it went up to 49%, and he averaged four more points. The next 90 season. to 92, he shot over 50%, and then it dips down to 47, 49, 48, 46. No. And 19- Why isn't it getting better? 1993, Jordan was on the team. So he shot 47% in 93, and when Jordan left, he went up to 49. The next year after that, it was 48. If we want to go to Michael Jordan's numbers, because, again, you guys are bringing up stuff, Michael Jordan's field goal percentage went down as his career went down as well. His points Jordan, per game too. His points per game went down. Jordan went from averaging fifty-two percent shooting in ninety-two to to forty-nine in ninety-three. Then he went to forty-nine again in ninety-six. Then forty-eight in ninety-seven. Forty-six in ninety-eight. Forty-two in two thousand two, and forty-four in two thousand three. So Jordan has one, two, three, four, five, six seasons out of his out of his fifteen seasons where he shot above fifty percent. The rest were under fifty percent, which is why his field goal percentage in general is under fifty percent. Can I just say something real fast? Go ahead. Go ahead. Michael Jordan fans are the best. <laughs> I got to go, guys. I got to get my kids some food. You guys make sure to follow Rex. Rex has his own page. I think it's called Political. What, what, what's your page? Politicus Rex. Rex. Politicus Rex. Okay, make sure you follow NMB Sports. Also, shout out to Dart, which is Michael Jordan fans are the best. He represents the Jordan fans like no other because Craig and Travis and them don't take one for the team, but Dart takes one for the team. He represents Jordan fans to the best. So shout out to him. Uh, we have SFM. First time showing up on our show. We appreciate you. Appreciate you. And we also have our, our, our boy, Twin Man. What up, Twin Man? You've been very patient. Appreciate you, Twin Man. What up, what up? So, Rex, you have a great day. Thanks for joining us. You know where to find us. We are Goat James Kingdom. We're looking forward to seeing you again, my friend. Thank you. Yes, sir. See you all later. All right. See you, Rex. Later. All right. See you, Rex. I, I just wanted to thank you guys for this coming on the channel shit. earlier, and you guys bring some value entertainment. I just wanted to put that out there. I know you guys are on this subject, but I'd love to debate Michael Jordan fandom against you guys. I don't know if you're interested in that or you just stick to the Goat argument. Um, I'm not trying to detract from the show. Uh, but if you're interested in that, I'd love to do that sometime. This show already went left. This show went left around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. um, I, I, I'm going to just speak, speak my case. I, I have no problem with Michael Jordan fans as long as they admit to their biases. I know some people mm-hmm. who tell me Michael Jordan is the GOAT because of such things as popularity. If these are the factors you want to use, that's fine with me. There's no argument there because there's no, there's no tangible evidence to prove false. Can, I, t- listen, can I tell you why I, think he's the, why, why I feel like he's the GOAT? Yeah, you can tell me. Give me a second. I'm going to move on. So for, for me, my problem with Jordan fans is that they, they, they accuse us of things that they do themselves. We do not discredit errors. We do not discredit players. We recognize everyone's greatness and we measure them by their greatness. So mm-hmm. that is the upsetting part. And obviously they don't let us speak because obviously when we start talking numbers, stats, accolades, it starts to deter their whole stance and they don't allow us to speak. You just had Young Miami on your show just to let you know he is a GJK groupie. He only showed up on your show because we promoted your show. So at the end of the day, we have fans like that that come a- a- attack us because we just we just think LeBron's the GOAT. You can have Jordan as the GOAT, but just prove it. We, we could prove why LeBron's the GOAT. You prove your case. If you can't prove it, it's not our fault. So that is only our only problem. But Michael Jordan is one of the greatest players to ever play. He has the right to have fans. He has the right to be acknowledged for all of his greatness. And we would never take anything away from Michael Jordan. Anything. That's my last statement on that. Okay, so there's no debate. I mean, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. But, yeah. <laughs> I'll, uh... I can't take nothing from Michael Jordan, but to me, it's just a delusion. Like, people discredit the great team around Michael Jordan. We forget Jordan, he did all this shit before Scottie Pippen and got nowhere. 
he was he was putting up, he was chucking up a bunch of shots, accumulating a bunch of points, and getting bounced in the playoffs because he didn't have a team. So now Jordan gets his team, he gets his six rings, and we're going to diminish the defense of Scottie Pippen. We're going to diminish the great play of Horace Grant, B.J. Armstrong, Ron Harper, Dennis Rodman, Steve Kerr. Bro, Clark nobody Wright. is diminishing. I know, bro. Just, bro. just because we take a binary, just because we take a binary doesn't mean we hate the others. Bro, the, bro, 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 listen. Right, nobody y'all are the, twisting words. Let them talk. Bro, no, bro let nobody talk. does let, not. Let them talk. Go ahead. Just, just let them talk. Just let, let them talk. Go ahead to it, man. But bro, I'm just telling you, every time I hear these conversations, it's always, what did Scotty do? Scotty, for his team, he would average more rebounds than Jordan, more he averaged more assists than Jordan, he'd average more steals than Jordan. He'd do a lot for that team. So to sit here and pretend like Scotty Pippen was an integral part in Jordan getting six rings is ridiculous. It is just ridiculous. Bro, yeah, I tried to so oh. Jordan without Scotty Pippen, and he didn't get anywhere. It's ridiculous to bring up stats without acknowledging LeBron had teammates that helped him get those stats. I absolutely will say he had teammates. Absolutely. Then it's a moot point. It's I'm a moot point. Saying before he had Dwayne no Wade, before he had teammates. Dwayne Wade, before he had Chris Bosh, he carried his team. Jordan couldn't do that. Bro, LeBron okay, carried nobody, his team? Is that Nobody Jordan? degrades right? their teammates, bro. Nobody degrades his teammates. It's just like, it's just nine days, bro. Y'all try to... Over, over, and I'm just telling you, the truth. y'all tried to overrate Scotty to build up jo- uh, to build up LeBron, but it's not gonna build up. It. Like it does, it doesn't matter. Even if he was a great player, it's not gonna work, bro. Like I like, Scottie like it's a, like it's a lot of shit people say about Scotty. Now this these last two seasons trying to make this LeBron and stuff debate, bro. People were talking about, bro. Like literally, we weren't having conversations about this. Like I'll be you to say stop, bro. Like, stop. Who, who wasn't having a conversation about what? Who wasn't having a conversation about what? Bro, we weren't having, having com- we weren't having conversations trying to make it seem like oh Scotty, Scotty and Michael. It's like this was fifty fifty. It wasn't. It wasn't. It was more like the eighty twenty play of all time. My question is though, why? Why do we? Why, oh wait, why is it that when we give Scotty Pippen, Pippen <laughs> that the, instantly the first thing y'all do is compare Mike to to Pippen? We're not saying Scotty Pippen is better than Mike. We're just saying that Scotty Pippen was a complete. Was great. Hell, B. Was Lee great. said Scotty was the playmaker. That is saying he's better That's than Jordan point. in many ways. He was the playmaker. He okay, so you guys That's are arguing that he's better than say. Jordan. Ah, and wait, you're talking wait, out of both sides of your mouth. Wait, 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 wait. Do you understand playmaking is just a. A small aspect of the game. It's not the whole game. Hold on, a small okay, hold on, aspect. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Johnny. Yeah, hold on, Johnny. Aspect. Um, playmaking so, is a so small. Are, so, would you say that John Stockton was the playmaker on the U- Utah Jazz? I would not. I, I would say it was on. him and Carl about equally. No, because okay, they think so it's, it's, that, it's, that would be it's, hard. It's that no would be hard to gauge. But yes, he no, had no another all time great about playmaking. Brandon, if you they, believe that John Stockton think, was in the playmaker on that squad, he was the he was the straw that stirred the drink. I guess you needed to find playmaking. No, he's the playmaker. He sets up the play. He gets the ball to the right person so they can get the right shot. That's, That's what, what point guards do. That's what a playmaker so is. Point guards are playmakers. <laughs> yes. If you go okay. Google, if you go Google the definition of a playmaker, the but Scotty, Scotty was a bigger playmaker than Jordan, even though Scottie Jordan was, was the guard. Listen, yeah. Okay. Scotty was the point forward. He invented the point forward. That's what made Phil Jackson so smart. I have records right now showing that Phil Jackson stated that it was because of, of Scotty Pippen's ball making facilitating uh, facilitating was why the Bulls were able to win in '91. He was their ball facilitator. He set up the triangle offense. He got Jordan in the right spots. Okay, so just for the record, Scotty was the playmaker of the Bulls. That's what his coach yeah. says as well. Okay. His coach yeah. says this as well. Okay, okay. Now, so wait, Phil Jackson wait, wait, okay. Before, you go, wait, wait. Okay. before you go running with this, put this in your record. I just said okay. I just want to. Y'all said it. It's put okay. This in your record. A playmaker is somebody who dribbles the ball into the right spot and passes the ball into the right area, to the right player to make the spot, or sets up the screen that allows for a player to get open. Those are the three form aspects of playmaking in the NBA. Distribution like, and setting screens. Okay. Yeah, that's why Carl Malone and John okay. Stockton are the top top three in turnovers because they play make the most. They Carl Malone set a lot of screens. This guy puts a lot of passes out there. He sets up a lot of okay. plays. That's your job. It's called ball handling, passing, and screening. Passing that's and actually, picking makes you a playmaker. Okay. That's what a playmaker is. That's not what okay. I that's what it is. That's the definition hey man, of hey. a playmaker. <laughs> Whatever you say, man. That's not what I say. That's what I say. Is there a definition of playmaker? 
The definition of a playmaker is somebody who who sets up the play, who ball facilitates. That is your job as a playmaker. Okay. Yes. What is a playmaker, NMB? A playmaker, I would say, is someone who essentially like is the focal point of their offense. They are making plays, scoring, make getting steals, defensive stops. It's it's all around. Who you could say PER in a way is playmaking to a certain okay. degree. So okay, I I would agree with you on defense. Playmaking on defense is stealing the ball and blocking shots. That's making a play. That's defense. We're talking offense now. On the offensive side of the ball, a playmaker is somebody who's the offense is put around. How how does that player make the play then? How did that how does that play created? Because I said Shaquille O'Neal is my number one option. So the how offense a, centered around Scotty. Play? Yeah. How do I create a play for Shaq to get the ball? The offense centered around Scotty. Is that what you're saying as a playmaker? No, no, no. I'm saying Scotty set up the plays. He actually formated, make sure all the plays were happening. All, whatever plays the Bulls wanted to run, he was the initiator of those plays. That makes him the playmaker. Okay. Exactly. Do you know that? I, I completely run? disagree. I think no. I think you're just Remember fitting that narrative for Scotty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is, that's ludicrous. No, 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 no. Let me ask you this: Ron James is the playmaker. He was the playmaker for Cleveland. He was the playmaker for for Miami, and he's the playmaker for LA. That's so. Who's the playmaker? So let me ask you: Who's the playmaker on the Warriors? Draymond Green. Draymond Green. Draymond Green. Yeah. <laughs> Draymond Green. Nah, that's crazy, bro. That's really bro, crazy. This bro, this is nuts. Oh, wait, wait. Really crazy. Let me ask this you is you. Wait, 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 wait. What makes Stephen Curry the the main playmaker? His gravitas. Make, he is the, the focal point of the defense. Man, what, is his, the what is his gravitas? What does that mean? Oh, I'm running down court. Let me find where Draymond is because he's gonna make a play. Come on, man. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Quadruple wait a minute. single. Come oh, on, bro. Are you are you saying that Stephen Curry running without a basketball in his hands is making a play? For him, yes, because of his skill set. Not 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 everybody oh, in general. Oh, how? Oh, yeah, Steve, Kerr, How? Steve Kerr running around How? isn't as deadly as NMB. Steph Curry. Stephon Curry is running around the court right now. How is yeah. the play created because of that? Because they are focused on him. You have to know where he is at all times. How is he the ball in his hands when Stephon no, Curry is running minute, around the minute. court? It's like Reggie Miller. Me. Reggie Miller was the focal point. The best thing he did was move without the ball. Again, I ask you, they're running without the basketball. Yes. How is there a play made because you have no basketball in your hand and you're just running around the court? I will say it again if, if you didn't hear me the first three times. When Curry is on the floor, the defense mm -hmm. must account for him 99% of the time. They must know where he is at all times. That opens things up for other people. You cannot tell me that if a defense is mainly focused on one guy, that doesn't make plays easier for everyone else on the floor. Why like, am I you can't be serious with not oh, understanding wait, the Stephen Curry you, playmaking yes, analogy. I'm, again, listen, I'm asking you. Stephen Curry's running around without the I ball. explained it. I'm not going to say it for a fifth time. What is, what is the defense doing? That's what Stephen you keep Curry. doing, though. Again, what is Stephen Curry doing that forces the defense to pay attention to him if he's running without the ball? What are they doing? What is the defense doing? They are paying attention to Curry. But by how? By what? By what fashion? By knowing where he is at. You have to pay. Do you play defense? You have to know where people are at. I don't understand so why play, that's hard to understand. So, play, so, so knowing where you're at is, is playing defense? No, I'm saying his playmaking ability constitutes the fact that the defense must account for him at all times. Are you telling you me defenses yet, don't pay attention to where Curry is? No, I'm saying that you have yet to prove where the playmaking is at with Stephen Curry running without the basketball. I guess we're just going to talk past each other because I don't I don't know how else to explain okay, it. Like me, when Reggie Mi thanks. was Reggie Miller wait, the wait, playmaker on the explain, Pacers. Let me let me explain this. Mark to you. Jackson was the playmaker. Let me explain this to you. The okay. point guard or the guy who controls the offense brings the ball up to the floor. He finds a spot to where he can make a pass to someone in the post. The person in the post did not create that play. The person who passed him the ball created the play. There's no That's one to pass to if the postman doesn't create space for him to receive the ball. What you can't get the again the man you can't get the ball in the post if the guy doesn't make a play to get there. Again, what make what play? How is he making a play? You got to get open. How? There's no one to pass to if you don't get open. How do you get open? You seal your man of off. Court. Three other players on the court. Huh? Seal no, no, your man no. off. You How? get position. Seal seal your man off with what? Your, your body? body. Yeah. Okay. So again, so I said I I, I just specifically, specifically explained that the guy post up. He's posting up. I get the ball to a certain position so I can pass him the ball while he's posting up. So again. Who made the play? Not the guy who posting up. The guy who dribbled the so ball. So you're saying the doing in doing entry passes to the post is playmaking? Is that yes, really? Because, yes. yes, because because if the guy who's standing Bro. on the post, listen, pay attention. If the guy who's standing on the post doesn't have the ball, there is no play to be made. 
I never knew I was the playmaker of my high school teams my entire time by just inbounding you probably, an entry pass. You probably, wasn't, you probably wasn't good at it. That's why you didn't know that. According to you, this yeah. This is the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. So you ever. you, you ever. really believe ever. Ever. Stephen Curry running around without the basketball, even though Draymond is bringing the ball up court, he's initiating the offense. You think Stephen Curry's the playmaker on the team, though? Let me ask you a question. Initiating Stephen the Curry offense and being playmaker is not the wait, same. Wait, wait. Oh, wait, Stephen Curry is on the strong side. You know what strong side means, correct? Yes, the side strong to which side the ball means. handler's at, yeah. He runs He runs from the strong side to the lower baseline around the, the around the paint and goes to the other side of the baseline. If Draymond Green is on the strong side, can Draymond Green get Stephen Curry the ball on the weak side, on the other side of the court? Sounds like that's not what the play is designed to do, so it's kind of a stupid analogy. Oh, no, that's what we're trying to say. Hey, can you, make, can you make a cross-court pass wait, wait, into wait, the corner because Steph Curry's a that's playmaker? What, no, that's what we can't. That's what, we're try, that's what we're trying to explain to you. So the fact that Draymond Green will put himself at the right position so that when, Dray, when Stephon Curry ends up at that spot, the ball will be there. So the person creating that play is the person who first screens for, for Stephon Curry to get open. And so not ball, Draymond. The, the ball facilitator who gets the ball. And the right time, the right spot, the right everything. So that means if you don't pass the ball correctly, if you don't get him the ball at the right timing and everything, he's not going to get a shot off. The play is being made by the screener and the passer, not the guy running without the basketball. What's the point of setting a screen for someone if they're not even a threat? Uh, again, the screen is setting the play up. That's why you set a screen. Yeah, but if he can't shoot, if he can't make shots, what's the point? Again, you're setting a screen to get a shooter open, not to get a non-shooter open. That's why it's called planking a play. That's the right, play. So the who's got to make the play to make it all work? The screener. If the screener the doesn't screen, again, the screener doesn't screen the defender. The shooter never gets open. Let me put it this he, way. He doesn't have a shot. Could Steph Curry bring the ball up and initiate the offense just as good as Draymond can? And reversely, no, can Draymond get open and hit threes not. like okay. Steph Curry yes. can? No. Listen, pay no. attention. He's asking me. Listen, Twin Man, I got this. Listen. He's a ball handler Stephon, by default. Listen, Stephon Curry is not as effective as with his team if he is the ball facility, meaning dribbling off the court and passing it to someone else. Stephen Curry's main effect on his team is being the scorer, which yes. means he has to shoot. Yes. So that means has, Draymond that means cannot has, do that. Okay, listen, which means someone has to get him the ball because no NBA team draws up a play for a player to dribble 90 feet to shoot. <laughs> I think so, you're, so, you're kind of proving my point. Let me just break this down. Let me just break, let me break this down. What I just said. No NBA go, go player. Ahead, no, I'm sorry. No NBA team no, has a play that says you go 90 feet and shoot the ball. That's what is special about what Draymond ahead, does ahead. in the scenario you just All right. All right. So, so, okay. So, you're talking about um, Steph Curry could do the same thing, bring it up and initiate it. So, when the Lakers took Draymond Green out of the, out of the series last year and they made Steph Curry a point guard, Steph Curry numbers went down. Clay Thompson couldn't get off a shot because he couldn't get Clay Thompson the ball in the appropriate spots. And when he did, it was a turnover. That's that's how valuable Draymond Green is to that team. He initiates the offense and he's the playmaker. And that's why they have been successful for all these years. When you take Draymond Green out of the game, he's not able to bring the ball up because no one's guarding him. Steph Curry has to take on that responsibility. And we've seen how effective Steph Curry was playing strictly a point guard and it was not effective Steph Curry is a scorer he's a shooting guard he's not someone to initiate the offense and he's not that great of a playmaker because he's used to only shooting the ball or running off screens and getting plays made for him that's why Draymond Green is so vital for that team that's why he's a playmaker on that squad okay Thank I'm, you mad right now, Break it down I'm mad right now I'm mad right now basketball. because I was literally you, going to use that example of the playoffs <laughs> last year against I'm mad right now because you beat me to it. You really beat me to it. I was going to say, we saw what happened when Steph Curry initiated the offense. They got swept. He can't do it. That is not his role. His role is to be the primary scorer. He's running around. He need Draymond's at the top of the key, controlling the ball to get him in right – to get him and Clay and Jordan Poole in the right position to shoot shots. So, That's are you telling he, me the dude that's averaging the more assists is the best playmaker? What happened? Are you are are you saying that the dude that's averaging the more assists is the best playmaker on the team? That would be the that's playmaker. Usually, how it team. usually how it works. Yes, that's he averages the most assists. Yeah. So Chris Paul. Man. All right. So as long as he averages the more assists on the team. <laughs>
usually the playmaker has the most assists on the team. That's why Jokic has the yes. most assists usually for his team. He's, he's initiating. I'm not saying he's initiating the offense. It's that he's able from the post and from the wing to get players in the right position because they have, like you said, that gravitas. They have to account for Jokic because Jokic can shoot. So you're telling so me that the Warriors, there, the Warriors would take Draymond Green over Steph Curry? <laughs> Why would, not. They do that? No. Why would they do that? Oh my God! Who brings the no, more valuable city, skill set? Who who does more? Who makes no more plays? The, no one says the point guard or the playmaker is the best player on the team. Your argument no is that essentially the Warriors can't operate functionally as good without Draymond than compared to without Curry. Without Curry, they'd be even worse. And I just they looked up their all-time records it's with or without they, they, they have they have a they have a winning record without Draymond and a losing record without Curry. They, they need, no, what we're saying is, is that Stephen Curry needs a facilitator like Draymond Green to be effective. That's what we say. Yeah. He's he's a ball, he's what's, e what's easier to do? What's easier to do? Steph Curry's three-point shooting or Draymond's passing? What's easier to do for the average NBA player? Someone's background noise is hell. Ernest, Ernest, mute yourself, please. Mute yourself, I can't yourself, believe Ernest. this dude don't know what playmaking is. No, they don't know, Ernest. They don't know. Y'all just have a subjective about. definition of it, and you're like, "Oh, we're right." Yes, it's I, not. Told you I told you the definition. I told you the definition. Go Google it. Draymond Green makes passes to Curry. Ball. That's why he's a better playmaker. Yes, it's he's it's asinine. The play. He makes it's the backwards play. Backwards logic. Well, 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 NBA sports. No, is he didn't um, create the play. He didn't Trey create it. Trayvon ain't nothing. He's not subjective to it. The it's and the person that really is getting what it the play. All right, all right, guys. You, you you did say Reggie Miller is the playmaker, is the is the better playmaker on his team, and Reggie Miller is not a playmaker at all, at Thank all. Reggie That's Miller's by your shooter. definition. Do you understand? You're no, just going off the your actual, definition. The real definition. You don't have. Okay. Nobody would draw up a play for Reggie Miller okay. if he wasn't a playmaker. Okay. You can't okay. get Reggie Miller on this panel. Not a playmaker. On this panel. Draymond Who Green can't make his own Reggie shot Miller without anyone else. Draymond Green Who has this? always been the playmaker for the Warriors. Okay. This is not rocket science. You the only person that don't know that. No, it's not, I don't just because just because four people say it and I the say it the other way doesn't no, prove the anything. Warriors even say Draymond Green. Let is me the ask playmaker. you a question. Reggie Miller no, they don't, two. bro. Reggie yeah, Miller maybe maybe two. maybe so he won't knock them out if he gets upset. Listen, if, Reggie Miller. Do you can't watch dribble. games? How does he get a shot? No. Reggie Miller can't. can't dribble. How does he get a shot? I watch games, bro. Listen, I watch no, everyone no. pay attention to Steph Curry. NMB. You clearly NMB. Don't. NMB. Reggie Miller cannot <laughs> dribble. How does he get a shot off? Draymond cannot score or pass unless Answer someone is good question. enough to get open. To score. Answer my question. Reggie Miller cannot dribble. How he does clearly he get don't a watch shot the game. Off? Huh? He was Reggie. talking over. Reggie Miller cannot dribble. How does he get a shot off? By going off screens. How does he get the ball? From one of his teammates. That's not the own you think Thank it you. is. That's Thank not you. the own you think it is. Hold on. That's not the own you think it is. Let me you. say this real quick. Let, let me say this A guy made a pass. Boom. Argument I, over. I, 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 I would say this. I would say that Draymond. There's no assist if Reggie ain't hitting the shots. I would say that he's the better passer on his team. I wouldn't say – like, when you go search up playmaking, bro, I just looked at the definition. It, it stands for what we stand, it stand for. It simply means a player who leads the offense for a team. That's what playmaking means. Like, you go look at the definition right That's now. Draymond. That simply – he doesn't no, lead the offense. The Can you Draymond's not the leading no offense. They, okay. they clearly don't watch Can you watch say games. what the definition say? Check it out. Listen. It says that. Okay. It says exactly that. Bro. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, there is right, no right. offense Travis, to create I, if Steph Curry is not hitting threes. Do you understand? You take Curry okay, off the floor, um, Draymond's Travis, not go, doing go shit. Go ahead and explain. Go, on, go, go ahead and say what you got to say about <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. right now. Whoever wants to. I'm going to untangle your, your tangled web here, boys. Uh, but everyone's right to a degree. Uh, NMB, I would so badly want to have your back, especially in the Jordan debate. You were a lot of good points. You just need me to phrase it a little bit better which I have on the show many times. Anyway, with the playmaking thing here, uh, everyone makes plays, but yes, in this case, specifically Draymond Green would be not the not the guy in the traditional support. He's a scorer, the defense will pay more to, but he's the better passer. He's their IQ guy. He's the guy who's going to generally initiate the offense. That's absolutely not subtracting anything from Curry because also 
Curry makes plays when he gets the ball. He's not just shooting it automatically. You can tell by his assists here. Chris Paul's there too. But yeah, Draymond's generally the guy who, like the panel was saying, gets them in position, has the plays down pat, just like Scotty was for the majority of that. Like, it, again, that's not – Jordan was a great off the ball. He was also making plays too. He has better than average assists. Just like how Magic was – uh, very much so the Lakers. Was he their primary scoring uh, option for the majority of his career? No. But, again, he was adept at that, but he was also the guy who got everyone, like Johnny was saying, into position. Uh, he made the right reads. He canceled, made, made play balls on the fly, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't mean that he's not – that other people weren't capable of making the plays or the defense, like you said, didn't have to pay attention to them. Like, they're probably going to pay more attention to James Worthy, uh, again, from 84 to – like 89 because he was a much more lethal scorer than Magic. They're going to pay attention to Kareem more often than Magic from 80 to like 85 because Magic's not going to drop 35 points on a whim until he hit his MVP years. But again, Magic's the guy who's just making the plays or setting up their offense, which was so lethal. doesn't mean he was the best player or the best scorer. But again, that's what they're trying to say. There's not an own. Like you said, it's not an own on any one player. And then I said, there is such a thing as gravity. But Again, as far as the people who are trusted to just initiate, again, that's when that's what they're talking about. Would we would we consider assist part of playmaking, like we said earlier? And you can you can make plays, but not be the primary playmaker on that team. But would we, like we said earlier, assists would they matter? Listen, guys, stop it. Okay, well, Curry's got more assists and a higher assist percentage. No, he doesn't. Stop it. Listen. What? I'm looking at it right now. Assist per game. Pay attention. Pay attention. If we look at Stats it Stats matter until they don't. Again, point guards are expected to run the team's offense by controlling the ball and making sure that it gets to the right player at the right time. Playmaking is a point guard role. Your job is to set up the offense. This is Wikipedia. If we scroll down, if we go to hoops, students.com, point guard is initiator and is considered a playmaker. If we go to John Hollinger, the guy who created PER, point guards, is considered a playmaker. Everything that we look up in basketball that defines a playmaker is going to be around a ball facilitator and a dribbler. That is what makes you an actual playmaker, not shooting. Everybody can shoot. So all I got to do is get you the ball in the right spot, and you can make the shot. That's it. If I get you the ball three feet from the rim, you're going to make a layup. If you can shoot and I get you the ball and you can in a shooting spot, you're going to make the shot. That's why it's called an assist. I assisted you in making that basket. So playmaking is that. We're not going to argue actual basketball terms because you don't know basketball terms. Right. These are actual basketball terms. They existed before you were born. You can't change it because you started watching basketball during ESPN era. Yeah, this is basic stuff. This Basic. Is, this, is, this is basketball. This shouldn't even be a question. I mean, this shouldn't even be a question about playing. I don't even think we should be having this argument because this is the basis. This is how I don't understand start. how Curry has more assists then. He doesn't. Assist per game? My God, let me do this up again. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Because these are just Jordan fans. And you don't even talk stats. Curry Jeez. gets one more assist per game than Draymond for his career. That's for the career. We're not talking about for the career. Let's let's go go between oh, oh, 2015 okay. to today. Bro, go, from, go to 2015 to today. Who averaged more assists? Curry averages more assists for his career. The crazy it's part big. is this is the crazy part. Steve Kerr says <laughs> Draymond Green is the is the is the playmaker for their team. Stephen Curry considers Draymond Green the, the playmaker and the facilitator of the offense for that team. But because NMB says that is not the case, all of them are right. lying. I don't give a shit what other people say. It doesn't matter. Don't stop playing. You, know, you, you don't care what the team is. All right, say. here we go. Why would here I go. care? No, wait, wait, wait. Between, 19, between 2015, when the Warriors were the elite team and they started winning, and till today, Draymond Green averages 6.7 assists per game. Stephen Curry averages 6.3. So by your metrics, Draymond Green is better with the Dang, years they point were four more? Oh, it's more. Yes, point oh. Four more. It's more. <laughs> Being it's the more. facilitator, he only gets point four oh, more? Oh, wait. Draymond I'm not Green impressed, bro. Averages, I'm not convinced. Draymond, not Draymond convinced. Green averages 5.6 for his career, and Curry averages what? 6.2 is the same thing. Like what? Like 6.5. 6.5. Like, 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. Something like that? 
6.5. Okay, so it's but, but point 0.7 difference. Is that less so than Draymond one? initiates the offense, and yet Curry yes. gets more assists. Okay. No, not for, no, for their career. Remember, Draymond didn't play with him this whole career. Go look it up for when they play with one another. Go look at how long they play with one another and who averages the most assists then. Even at, even at that, Draymond Green averages the same amount of assists as Stephen Curry, and you don't consider Draymond Green a playmaker of any kind. But all of a sudden, Stephen Curry's assist makes him a playmaker. I'll take the guy yeah. averaging 30 and the same amount of assists as a playmaker than the guy that's who averages we're, eight we're points not, and gets, that's and gets what point we're five talking like, about. On, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about who can create your offense more, Draymond Green or Stephen Curry. And Draymond Green What Draymond does Curry. is not revolutionary. Like, it's not because of something unique he's doing. He he's a point win. guard by it default. Is. He's oh, getting to make passes to He's going to make passes to Curry and... Draymond Name literally switching. got them. Draymond liter Draymond's, I guess, non-effective bullshit actually helped them win four NBA championships. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, okay, all right. Who was the player? I thought it was a team. Durant now it's Draymond's oh, championship. Oh wait, wait, oh wait. Somebody in the chat just brought up a great a, a great thing. And the chat was brought up by uh Mike W. He just said here, Stephen Curry shoots 47% from three-point land with Draymond Green on the floor. When Draymond Green is not on the floor, it drops to 32%, showing you how much of an effect Draymond Green does when it comes to getting Stephen Curry the ball in the right spot at the right time. That's Drop the point. Knowledge. What's what's everybody's percentages and stuff when Curry is out? Hmm? Let's compare. Curry, let's it, let's have a Curry, one for one comparison. Curry, again, we just did that. We just showed you against Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson's percentages doesn't go up. Jordan Poole's numbers don't go up. None of those guys' numbers go up when 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 uh, Stephen Curry is the main facilitator for that team. And, and, the Warriors have they, a losing that's record why they trade, without that's Curry. Why they, again, they are the, the exact Warriors, same without Draymond. The Warriors don't play nothing without Draymond. That's why they signed him to a four year extension. That's why they they have a the winning record so without Draymond. That is Barely, but they have a winning record. Again, you notice what you is, said what, you're, you're, you're misleading the stat. You're saying they have a better record without Draymond Green and have a better record with Stephen Curry, but Stephen Curry's record includes Draymond Green on it. No, without Curry, right? Without Curry, they have a losing mm -hmm. record. Without Draymond, mm -hmm. they're essentially 500, a little over 500. And what does that have to do with playmaking? You're saying that Draymond is so integral. He's such a playmaker, right? But yet when he's off the floor, it's not as much of a detriment as when Curry's it's, off the it's floor. It's literally like talking to a wall with you. I right never now said I never said Draymond anything. Green's playmaking. No one made never them said that. Winners. Nobody said that's the winner. No one said winners. Draymond Nobody Green's a better that. player than Steph. No one said what no one says this. Why, why are you making up stuff? Because we're just saying that you're Draymond trying, Green you're trying is to make the comparison that. That's with or without Draymond, what happens to the offense? Well, with or without Curry, what happens? If we're going to bring up playmaking, right? It shows that one is more important than the other. Many more players can do what Draymond does than what Curry does. That's really the, oh. where the rubber hits the road. That's Draymond is not as good. Draymond is not as good if he doesn't have Klay Thompson and Steph Curry, two of the best three-point shooting guards of all time. If he does not have them to pass and to, not it's not as, as if he goes as, to another team. He's going to be yeah. like throwing b uh, passes Curry behind, behind the back and shit. He's not like that. The next question: Does Stephen Curry and does Stephen Curry and Clay Thompson shoot better than anybody else as far as field goal percentage wise, three point shooting? I, I said know. some of the best. Is that what I said? I mean, is that no, what I said? No. Is that what I said? No, listen, listen, yes. I said two of the best shooting guards of all time. Listen to what you just said. I can give him Cal Corver, and Draymond's going to be just as effective. I can give him any shooters. He's going to be effective. You give him any shooters. Anybody who can shoot the ball is going to be effective because Draymond Green will get them the ball at the right. I spot, haven't right seen time. it. I guess without them, he's not as. You good. have seen it because the without him, he's not. Without them, years. he's not as good. Listen, without him, they don't win anything. They don't win anything without Draymond Green. Nothing. No <laughs> okay. championships. At they haven't all. won nothing. I mean, Stephon Curry gets granted, blown that's out. That's the excuse yeah. for not winning in sixteen because Draymond got suspended. That yeah, exactly. Was the excuse. exactly. 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 So it wasn't because exactly. LeBron. It wasn't because LeBron won. It was because Draymond was out. No, you guys don't give LeBron credit. Well, well, I think that's one of the greatest rings of all time. So no, we're, talking about, like the, we're talking about you guys saying Draymond Green is why they lost because he didn't play one game, and now you're saying he has no effect in winning. So that's how you get back talk. That's how you get exposed by the Goat James Kingdom panel because you don't know how to talk basketball. There is no playmaking you, you, without you know Curry hate, hitting you know shots. Basketball though. Yeah. And you know what's the funny thing is that you spent months and probably years sitting down with other Jordan fans, patting each other on the back about lies, and you come here and get exposed. You it's project. I, I, I haven't I done anything Sunday. of the sort. I I'm a Mavericks Sunday. fan. I don't really even give a fuck about Jordan. I just think he's the guy. I know you don't give a fuck about LeBron. Why are you? Why you give a fuck about LeBron? Because no, I like the baby. 
because he likes LeBron. Because LeBron is his real issue. He don't he don't know how to appreciate LeBron. It, it hurts. Him. LeBron's a like, great player. See, this is the thing. Like because LeBron. I have to pick Most one, Jordan I must mean I hate the LeBron other. That's not how it is. No, you hate because you have not brought up one. Thing when have I hated LeBron on LeBron great. specifically and said he's not a great player? What, what what makes LeBron great? Please find where I said LeBron's not a great player. You said he I would dribble. love to see any clip of that anywhere. You said he couldn't dribble. You said he couldn't. Dribble. I didn't say that. I never said that. You said he couldn't shoot. You said he wasn't a good shooter. I said he's as good a shooter as Jordan from you three. That was my argument. Find, you co-signed Sports fit, Fitness and Rant who said. Oh, Jordan so now was. what other people say is on me. You okay. co-signed it. Right. Yeah, you co-signed. I didn't co-sign, co-sign it. it. I never you said listen, the dribble thing. This is why Dark Go find is it and clip it out. Go find it and clip it out. Oh, you're going to have all kind of clips about you, my friend. We're going to tell Good. you all week Give me some this subs to my channel, bro. I, I will. I will. I appreciate it. No this nobody. is the you craziest conversation I have ever you Travis, hate. you tried your best. You're saying bro. I said things I, I never said. Trying, like, bro. you got to start there. You you're you're putting best, words bro. in my you mouth I never said. It's just not. It just didn't work out. And mind you. And mind you. I don't really care. Like, you guys' opinions on me shit to me. It's not opinion. Oh, you you got Travis on here, the most objective person on here. Still can't handle this conversation. We're giving you facts. Uh, real so debate. this is, this is what I've gathered. I've gathered from NMB that the primary offensive threat on the team is the playmaker. Is that what even, I'm getting from you? Even, even though he don't make his own play. I think, I think it is a, I think it is a misrepresentation to say Draymond is a playmaker when he wouldn't be a playmaker without the guys who actually make the plays, who actually finish it and put it in the hole. But it's Draymond on a team like, with, with, with all you got to do is watch the games and know what you look. I watch the games, man. Draymond no, is not blowing me away with you his do passing. Not watch the games, bro. So He's not like shaking anyone down, games, down right? getting to the hole and kicking it out or something on a regular basis that makes the offense flow. He brings it up. Curry runs off a pick and he gives him the ball. Like I'm so not. That's not a playmaker play, no, to me. Plays. So they why did Steph? The coach so is Steph, calling the plays. He just runs them. So why did Steph? Why did right. Steph Curry pass him the ball last night? Oh my and, and God! This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. I want to know this. If Steph Curry's the playmaker, why did he pass the ball to Draymond Green in the corner for a brick last night? <laughs> Wait. So so Draymond bricked it. I'm asking you. Did he brick it though? Why, I didn't see. The, I don't follow the Warriors that close. Did he brick he, it? Why is he? Why is he allowing Draymond to play make? If, if if you're saying the playmaker is the guy who shoots the ball at the end, why is he giving the ball? And to he the bricked guy it, so he's not the playmaker. That that's my point. No, and no, but that's what I'm, that. But that's what we're trying to explain to you. The playmaker was, oh was Stephen Curry. He, he created the shot for Draymond Green. Draymond Green doesn't have that shot if Stephen Curry doesn't get it to him. That's okay. the playmaker and, and on that play. You're acting as if Does Draymond's creating Draymond shots Green for Curry. Is, That's not what's Green happening. Is he, is. He, no, is he is. No, he's not. Curry is running off giant. picks and he's giving him the ball. That's not playmaking. The pick. Play That's just running the play. Man, this man ain't never played. Ba- he lied. Bro, I, I play basketball play just as long as any of y'all, man. Like, no, give me a break with the you haven't played shit. You guys, I don't know the basketball. Nobody agrees with you. Nobody agrees with you. Cool. None of you know. So what's the point? Nobody agrees with you. He is a point guard that never ball facilitated. He was just on the basketball court for nothing. He didn't I do not think simply guard. doing an entry pass or hitting a guy coming off a pick, that does not make you a playmaker. And you said that's, my opinion. that's my opinion. That's my opinion. He had a bad coach. I need him to tell Mark Jackson he's not a playmaker. Like, you are crazy. John the Stockton is the Mark ultimate Jackson and Draymond Green are not even the in the same category when it comes to playmaking. What does for the Warriors? It didn't be. Draymond distributes the two shooters. I'm not impressed. Like... You I agree. Be so, best, best let me look up the Draymond Green <laughs> passing highlights. If somebody else could, somebody else could do it at an elite level, they wouldn't extend it Draymond years ago for eighty million. If everybody could do what Draymond did, and yeah, it was so me. many Draymonds, they me. wouldn't. They did not resign him for passing. Eighty million when everybody they didn't resign him for passing. You got to learn basketball. Why they didn't they resign him for passing. For they signed they Draymond Green because he's an integral cog of yep. the offense. So That's different be, than playmaking and what you guys are arguing. It'd be, yo, I agree. Yo, 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 I agree with you. Yo, we trying I agree. to tell you. You argue. We trying to tell you. Yo, yes. MB. I agree with you. I've been coaching AAU ball for 10 years. 10 years. Coaching eighth graders and ninth graders. I cannot believe that you're saying the things that you've been saying for the past three hours. 
This is ridiculous what you're hey, saying. Hey, okay, so I'll tell the ninth grader, like, hey, all you got to do is just get here, wait for this guy to come off a pick, and you'll give him the ball. You're the playmaker, baby. Yes, because come you on, man. No. It's a no. It's that simple. Yes. Yes. I want my ball. God, fundamental basketball passing is now being a playmaker? Playmaker, yes, yes. What is he creating? He's not creating anything. Guys, wait, wait. NMB, let me ask you this, NMB. You're on the basketball court. You are running your behind off to get open. You get around the screen and you get wide open, and the person who passes you the ball throws it over your head. What do you say? He's a bad passer. So that, so that means passing. Is, is he doing it, it all the time? Is oh, it a mistake? Wait, 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 wait. Is it no, just no, no, one no. time? No, no, no. Yeah, lady, again, bro. Like, yeah. Draymond's yeah. never made a bad pass. No, again, I'm Draymond's never made a bad pass. No, no, you're saying that passing doesn't matter. I didn't you're say that. Play. Stop yes, putting words are, into my I, mouth. Wait, 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 wait. I do not think simply making a pass to a guy oh. coming off the screen is playmaking. Listen, listen, NMB, you're saying somebody who makes the right pass didn't create the play when I'm telling you. By that standard, right we're pass, all playmakers. We're no, all playmakers. No. We all can't We're all playmakers, guys. I made the right pass. I'm a playmaker. We all make a pass. I'm a playmaker. Like Michael Jordan can't pass because he'll end up having more turnovers than he'll have an assist. That's the problem. There are players who can pass better than they can do anything else. John Stockton has an over three to one ratio. Chris Paul has an over three to one ratio when it comes to assist to turnovers. That means every time they get in this, uh, a, a turnover, they get you three buckets at least. That's the point. So for every one bad pass they make, they make three, four good passes. That's called elite. That's a skill. That is a that. That's what makes you great. That's why there's a such thing as a point. Giving guard. the ball to Steph Curry is not a skill. That's like it's saying, not a skill. It's not a skill. It's not a playmaking no. skill. Hey, hey, hey. That's God, man, this is any quarterback. Hey guys, let me dump it into Shaq. I'm a playmaker. No, no, listen. That's like saying any everybody don't have basketball hey, IQ. Listen, listen. That's like saying a quarterback. Any maybe quarterback you guys think too highly of your no, abilities and you want to make up, it sound like up, I'm a little man, more humble. Listen, I'm a little more it's humble. Like saying, it's like saying any quarterback could make a 10 out route, could throw that. Anyone could do that. No, not any quarterback can throw a 10 out route. Not any quarterback can hit somebody on a flare. Not anybody can just hit somebody going down on a go route. You okay, so you, to you're going to need to prove to me, you need to prove to me that the, the difficulty level of Draymond's pass is just so much more than what the average person can make. It's different. If you can demonstrate that to me, run. then I might pay yes. attention. Oh, wait, I'm going to demonstrate it to you because Isaiah Thomas stated that when you make a pass for a person to make a play, you must give them the ball at the right spot, the right time, the right moment. So an assist is a difficult Great. pass no matter what because I got you the ball at the right time. And the Curry right averages moment, more. At the right spot. Again, Curry is not the ball facilitator for the for his team. He's a and he still gets player. more assists. No, he doesn't. He he pass the ball more. Sometimes he got to give it up. That's the reason why, bro. It ain't like yeah. he's out there playmaking. It, he has to pass the ball up, and sometimes it turns into we, an assist. We seen what Curry Draymond is, is out there the to get boards, set picks, turn play the defense, and, 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 and to put that ball right on the spot, on the money, coming off a pick, whatever the case may be. He That is his job, bro. And, and for you to think that anybody can do that, now what he does, like, like what he does, it, it is not a lot of flair to it. He's not out there like John Stockton or or like uh Steve Nash or or Mike Bibby throwing he's behind the backs and all that. All but Draymond I know, is a great about playmaker. To make for this he's boy. a great playmaker. He oh, is. Listen, yeah. listen, I'm about, so check this out. I'm, 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 I'm about to get up out of here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this last stat. I'm gonna leave this last exposure. Since Draymond Green has been on the Golden State Warriors, he leads them in assists. I'm leaving that alone. I'm done. You guys have a great Sunday afternoon. I got to go take care of something. You guys can keep enjoying this. The exposure has done his exposure. Shout out. First of all, I mean, I'm going to shout out to Travis, John, Twin Man, D-Rock down at the bottom. Shout out to Devontae. Shout out to Ernest. Ernest, put yourself on mute. And uh, Real Debates, I appreciate you, brother. I see you're a LeBron fan. Shout out to you guys. Hey, NMB, you are literally uh, on the wall of exposure right next to Young Miami. So you are the – listen. I can't I'm, wait for the – Sure. We don't we don't I hate on wait. you, but you have given us more than enough material. You will be tagged. I'm gonna step out, Brandon. You can take over the show. I, I've done enough. I've, I've done enough exposure today. Y'all boys, enjoy I, I can't wait for the Keep shorts. So I can't wait for the shorts. Uh, here's the thing, man. I'm, I agree with you that like there's more to playmaking than just making fancy passes. But here's what I'll say, and just a little more soft end, and then I get a dip too. I love all you guys, but Draymond. I would say just whatever you got some free time. And I know Kevin Durant was on the team. 
And you no, know, it doesn't take skill to just be like, here you go, run it. Draymond Green, though, and during their during the three peat, and especially like the last four years, if you watch the games, dude is not only integral defensively, but he has some of the best court vision again than you've ever seen, especially modern day. He's not, yeah, you're right. He's not making like Jason William pass or anything, but he is so adept at getting the ball again, the right plays. Like he'll, he'll like make great passes. Like some of them are flashy, but like he has a really, really high court IQ. He's not the best passer. League. No one's saying that. No one's saying he's more important than Curry. But bro, like he is a phenomenal passer. I would say during their run, probably top 15 passer all time, dude. Like during those three years stretch, he's vastly underrated when it comes to passing. And like I said, he's like, I agree with your point that it's not the most important thing, but bro, to call him not a great playmaker is just being disingenuous. Well, Draymond's I don't even know if I would say Draymond he's not a great playmaker. So you guys are acting that because of Draymond that the offense runs. I don't agree with that. He doesn't do does. anything That's with what passing we're telling you. or doing anything with creating. Like The offense is so focused on him. They have to play him so tight he's able to get the ball to other people. It's no, like, it's not, he's not playing what we're within saying. an offense of two of the best shooters of all time. We're not, we're not saying he's focused on him, bro. We're Draymond, saying, yeah. he's not Draymond doing anything. Draymond knows how to get on the court. I also don't know how, how he Draymond could have led the Warriors in a series because they have both played on the Warriors their entire Green. career. That's not what we're saying. And, and Steph Curry averages more assists. He flows through Stephen Curry. He, he's he flows a point through center, Clay bro. Thompson. You see it Draymond do it. Point guard. It flows through the guards. We're sitting here saying the initiator of the offense is Draymond Green. Without his court vision, without his passing, they are not nearly as great as they are. Draymond Green turned himself into a first ballot Hall of Famer with his court vision. His triple single that you're sitting here trying to shit on. Is I going don't to think it's because of his court vision, Hall bro. Of Famer. Draymond's not going to be remembered for court vision. Yes, he is. No, he will hey, be. He'll be known as an antagonizer, a good defender. I'm not. I'm he'll not taking that. He'll be known as initiating one of the greatest offenses ever. And why was it great? He, he's watching ESPN and listening to narratives because Bro. he ain't watching basketball. I mean, you, you, just, you, you couldn't, you couldn't put to anybody in he Draymond Green's you spot. Everything. You couldn't I will put go, anybody you else know what? in Draymond Green's I'll go spot. look up Draymond's passing highlight reel and I'll see what I see. Right. So this shit is incredibly you, they crazy. Highlight reels. They're telling you they're not watching basketball. He's that's what well, first of all, it's a joke. I watch basketball. He, he is not creating anything day, for Steph Curry. He is not creating. The day, he is hitting people day, in we spots. Can go, we can go back and forth all day about who's more important than this, this, and that. One thing we do know: neither one of them ever won a title without each other. Exactly. We I mean, that's a moot that. point then. That's yeah, we also point. know that James Worthy's no, the it's go. Not. It's, it's a point that needs to be made because just, really in all actuality, you're going around and stuff. I circles, never said that they would have won their without teammate, Draymond. Their, I didn't say that, but I'm well, at the end of the day. I said that. At, at the end of the I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying at the end of the day, whatever point you're trying to make is going to go back around in a circle because they're teammates. And at the end of the day, he is very vital to the team with his playmaking, switchability. Uh, versatility on defense, being able to know the offense. He run it like kind of like Nikola Jokic. And then, you know, Curry, he has his positives where he's coming off the pick. He's steady moving and opening up the floor. He's a threat as soon as he get past half court. He got elite playmaking, elite shooting. Everything Draymond don't bring to the table, Curry brings to the table. Everything Curry don't bring to the table, Draymond brings to the table. And then you have all these dudes in between that fills in everything else, and that is the Golden State Warriors. The argument was not that Draymond doesn't make plays. The you guys said he is the playmaker for the Warriors. I don't agree with that. He's the main main playmaker. Main no main initiator. Let's say that. And we're not saying that Clay don't make plays. He's just not the main playmaker. Without those two guys, there's no plays to make the way Draymond agree. makes Agreed. It's, well, it's a team sport, man. Like, I, and you're not wrong, but it's just like, come on. All right, so, You've got to so be – it's a five back, back to my comparison, right? Would you rather have Curry or Draymond Green on your offense? I'm not that's doing that because they, they never, they never was won. going to make more that's plays for you. Question. Here's the thing, though. Question. You, no, couldn't re- question. you could not replace question. Draymond Green with all but three or four players in the league, especially in his prime. I, I don't even I, – and I'm, I'm sorry, Travis. I don't even know what three or four players you could replace Draymond Green with in that system. You can't That's replace fair. him with nobody. Draymond, nobody. Draymond does a lot of dirty work, and he's he's very swift on his feet. 
And there's not a lot of players you're going to be able to put in that spot that's going to be able to play the defense he plays on the perimeter and on the interior and rebound the way he does and initiates the offense. There's a reason why Draymond initiates the offense. So Curry doesn't have to because that's not his strong suit. He also, like if, we, if we want to look at stats because and if you're going to count value over replacement, it's in the, the fucking floor, garbage. Because you have the two wings, you have those two wings in, in Clay and, and Curry on those wings so he can hit them off the screens for shots. That's his primary focus is initiating the offense. I don't really think you can give me a play that can replace Draymond. Hey, if, we're, look, I, 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 if you wanted me to deep dive, I, I could, but if we're just going to look at value over point. replacement, Draymond Green's value over replacement is absolute garbage. Hey, NMB, I will say this. Everybody can set a pick, but everybody don't know where to be on the floor at the right time. Exactly. Playing with playing with two – listen, your responsibility is at an all-time high level. When you're playing with two of the greatest shooters ever, you hear me? So when Curry passed, I half hear court, you. Whether he got the ball, whether he got the ball or not, if he don't have that ball and Draymond do, they run in that pick and roll, they run in the high screen, double screens, all of that stuff they're doing. Draymond is in the mix. I don't give a damn if they I don't care if they lose a game or win a game and Draymond don't take not one damn shot. Draymond is pivotal in every fucking game he plays, bro. Because that's the, the argument. Slave. That's not the listen, argument. Listen, listen, listen. Hold on, the, I want I want to say something. The, the, the space created by Steph Curry and, and Clay Thompson, everybody don't have the court vision and the knowledge of that system to know what to do when the space is created to do something with the ball. You, you can find a mid-range shooter, but you can't find a mid-range shooter that can, you know, occupy that space and know what to do with the ball like Draymond. You can find a lot of guys to occupy that position, but can they utilize the way Draymond Green does? No, they can't. Ralph, before you say anything, I just I just want to say I gotta I gotta bounce. Quick shout out to uh, it'll be Twin Man. Great facts as usual. Real debates. I love your style. Way to drop some facts today. Hope to see you uh, the show again, man. For sure. Salute, salute, salute. Now, I, I, I do I do want to touch up on this playmaking. I mean, I'm not gonna say Draymond is a great playmaker. He does playmake, but uh, like to initiate the offense, he's a he's a great passer by finding the reads in into those movement of the offense but playmaking is is to actually initiate the offense like through to, scoring or passing through scoring yeah. and, and passing is not the end all be all yeah and that's right. what draymond really does that but when we when we're talking about the point of attack or the offense that's when steph curry comes into play right you know and, and then we're, another see, we're not we're too. not talking about that because see we're talking now, 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 Ralph. You're talking about the primary offensive threat. That's what Steph is. Steph is the primary offensive threat. We're talking about the fact that if Steph has the ball, you're taking away his ability to be that offensive threat because now he can draw a bunch of double teams. You start double teaming Steph Curry like the Lakers did last year. What happened to his numbers in the toilet? You Wait, they were Draymond double teaming the ball. Yes. Wow. Yes. But 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 seems like he would be the main playmaker they're trying to corral. Playmaker Absolutely is the not. Player. There's, there's no playmaker. playmaker. Curry is, a, is not the gra- and has the gravitas that he does. That's the whole point. Like you're acting as if Draymond so, so is if unique in his Draymond playmaking. Green, He's not. If I give it to a Draymond Green who's not worried about shooting, because Draymond Green is going to sacrifice him getting buckets to get Steph Curry buckets. He's setting screens. He's getting him in the right position so he can put up that shot that's that's going to go in 42% he's of the a, time. Draymond passing, passing up threes is not an attribute. In his IQ. Passing up threes is not an attribute for a guy who passer. shoots 32%. He, he's the coach of the defense, too. Don't forget that. Because a player I'll give you that. On that... defense, he's much more integral. I'll give you that. Right. Defense is just as important as offense. every part so and aspect of the game. Bro, playmaking, we just talked about offense for 30 minutes. Like, but that's Curry what we were arguing. No defense, and we know that. Draymond and all those guys hide him, and they have a system to hide him, to protect him with his deficiencies in defense. Draymond is a part of that, bro. So just like Draymond don't shoot shots or he don't make them, and Curry make it up in scoring, guess what? Draymond makes up everything Curry can do, which is defense, versatility on defense, rebound. And rebound. So it, it evens out. It evens out. So they, now they playmaking so now play is rebounds and steals. Playmaking is, play is on the offense. Let's just stick to the offense, yeah. Right. 
Yeah, playmaking and, is on the offense. We end. can keep it directly on the offensive end. Would you want Jordan, like, if you put, because we don't have illegal defensive rules in this era, like Jordan had. So if you put if you put yeah. Jordan in this era, Jordan would kill him. Because you have to, no, actually, no, Jordan would have a lot more trouble. No, 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 you said it right. A lot more you said it right. You said it no, right. Jordan would run into a lot more double teams. You said it, hey, you said like it right the first time. Ran into a lot more double teams. Jordan would be looking like That's Kobe. That's the point. You, you guys also, like That's who be looking uh, like. a, a second ago, you guys said Curry, you talked, one of you said it a second ago, initiating the offense. You, you said it in a way as if they are, mm -hmm. like, the offense is initiated around Steph Curry. A guy just bringing it the is. ball up and then the offense goes, that's not initiating offense. The offense is initiated by Steph Curry correct. moving around off the ball and getting open. It's not initiated because Draymond just brought the ball up, right? That's... That's just, I just think that's a layman's term of thinking about it. Like, well, the guy who brought the ball up is the playmaker. Yeah. You just said right. that the, the, the exactly. offense is initiated Curry's around Steph the Curry. Up. They double Curry's team Steph bring Curry. The, Curry's going to bring Everything is the ball about up. Steph Curry. Clay's going to bring the ball up. Everybody's going to bring the ball up. And you know who they're going to give the ball to at the top of the key? Draymond Green. Because their role is to score. Clay needs to score. Steph needs to score. What so is who the are offense, you going to give the ball to? Who is the offense initiated around? The it's offense is initiated around Steph Curry. Okay, who's there we go. That, that, even using your own, even using your own definition. The even using your the own definition. Is a, the offense is centered around Steph Curry, who's initiating that offense. There's a difference between the guy who brings it that's up a, and simply because he crosses half court, yes. that's the trigger for initiating right. offense, versus the guy who actually is initiating the offense because of what there he is, does and brings to the he's table. 100 he's 100% twin man. He's not right. wrong. I didn't sit here and say he was wrong. My thing is, is once you sit here and you get half court and they're running that set play, is Steph Curry having the ball in his hand in that moment or is Draymond Green having the ball in Again, his hand this in that is, moment? You're kind of punishing him because he's so good at shooting, they decide to bring him off the ball. That that's not that shouldn't but be a penalty against Curry. Curry's skill set, just because Curry's you bring up the ball doesn't mean you're going to play me. Curry's skill set is harder to replace than Draymond Green's. Okay, there is okay. no doubt about that. Listen. listen to what you just said. He ha you you have to initiate the offense and get him off the ball. Him and Clay, you need space to shoot. Exactly, but it still this is initiating is around Curry. But, but if he wasn't so Curry's good at shooting, they wouldn't that use space him. To like, shoot, though. But sometimes y'all giving a lot time. of He's credit for guys it, who though. just do basic yeah, basketball all the time. things. Sometimes you have to come off a pick, just like Clay do, with space. And then he can hit a shot. He don't create all the time. Kevin Love plays. Yeah, he ass, does. Bro. Yeah, he, he, he step even when he, stuff all even time. when yeah. Steph Curry's coming off the coming off of picks or anything, he gets the ball. It's not necessarily he's going to shoot. He also play makes as well because he actually has a dribble. We're, we're not. Uh, I don't think. I don't think no one's saying that Steph don't play make. We're just saying who's the play who's the main playmaker on the Golden right. State. Right. Technically, everyone play. makes plays Steph. at some point during the game, right? He's not. The guy I, I, who is I'd say, I'd say the Draymond. Argument. He's the, oh, he's the oh, okay. facilitator. Oh, oh, oh. He's a facilitator, but he's not the playmaker. Oh, oh okay, Ralph. So, um, say, say, say for instance, um, Penny and Shaq. Who was the um, playmaker on that team? Again, this that's is like the. Would you say Shaq so because he the most points? That's yeah. that's a tough one because Penny actually can create create his offense as well. That's a Don't that's a Penny tough the playmaker. One. Easy work. I, I, I would, I would probably maker. say I would close. say I would I would say that for the fact that Penny also could create his own offense. Right. So I would say Pe Penny. See the difference so, between Penny. Hold on, let me it's, it's close. The, the difference between Penny and Draymond. Draymond doesn't create his offense. He's a facilitator, but he's not there to look for to create offense. This is kind of like They're the John Stockton Carl Malone thing. Like who's who's the playmaker on the Jazz, right? <laughs> If if you want to go by Stockton. just like the default definition, I suppose Stockton. But again, Carl Malone was such an intricate part. It's very close, right? Not the same when we're talking it's about not. Draymond and Curry. It's not close. Oh, okay, Ralph. Who, who is who is the play playmaker on the Jazz? Was it Stockton or Malone? The fact you hesitate Malone. tells me everything. The fact you hesitate proves my point. Hey, because he's trying to he's trying to make it seem like the no, person no, no, who no, no, don't tell playmaker. me what he's trying. No, I'm yeah, actually the fact he hesitated pro proves my point. It's no, close. It, it, it's close. It, 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 it's, it, it is close. And like not the same when we go on because playmaking playmaking is a player in a team game who leads attack or brings other players on the same side of the position of which they could score. So I mean, it, it, it's. 
like that is difficult right there. I have to really. It, you it guys are related, related, it it related it scoring to, to being the playmaker. I, I think that's that the playmaker. I think that's the thing. You're, you're trying to say who's the main scorer as who's the, the playmaker on the squad. No, who, I, I who's think the that's focal what you guys are no, I, I literally, no I literally just read the definition mm-hmm. to you. That's okay. what it is. But this, this is the thing, This is the craziest you know, conversation back, I've ever had in my life. But listen, this is literally the craziest conversation simple. I've ever this, had. This, this, this is the thing about it. If it's you know not basketball, that crazy, bro. It ain't this, that crazy. This, 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 let's just be simple about it. Let's not think too far outside of the box, right? John Stockton running the pick and roll constantly to get Carl Malone initiated into the offense. He's a great playmaker with or without Carl. Carl needs a great playmaker. Mm-mm. Yeah, yeah. I disagree. Yeah. I disagree. Yeah, he did. This goes back to like he needed he needed car. He needed he needed yeah. car Malone for that. He, Jeff no, Hornacek no, 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 can no, throw no. an entry pass Bro, to Carl Malone. This is why I disagree with real debates. I disagree with real debates because Carl Malone could Carl Malone could create his own shot. Carl Malone could absolutely create his own shot. If he got the ball, he could create his own shot. He would be more. Successful if you were to take those dudes and put them on a fully loaded team. I'm betting on Stockton team over Malone. Didn't you just say setting picks is really important? I say Stockton. Who's setting picks for Stockton? That's Malone. (laughs) Yeah, there you go. That was Malone. I mean, you can't say one without the other. That's Jordan Pippen. You can't say. But listen, this is the thing about it, though. I mean, just to be honest, bro, listen, when you're having a conversation about players that's teammates, you got to always be in the mind frame of not to debate and judge them against each other because they teammates at the end of the day. It's an evaluation, really. So when I look at Stockton and Malone, right, both great players, either one of they ass got a title. OK, so. But you look at who can function and still have the greatness without the other guy. Steph Curry is that without Draymond, bro. I'm not trying to agree with M and B, but at the end of the day, bro, you gotta be honest. If you take Steph Curry and put him on a fully loaded team, I'm going with that over Draymond, bro. Because if you put Draymond on a team and he don't have Steph Curry and he don't have Clay, what you get is a guy that's gonna get thrown out the game. Because if he, <laughs> bro, I'm I'm yeah, I'm converting people deep, every day. Actually... I'm converting people every day. <laughs> No, 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 no. no. I don't well, it went from you like, you're so ridiculous and to I, like, and oh, I, already oh, said I guess it. you have some points. I already said it in my mind, but I said, I'm going to kind of wait for the perfect time to come out now here with this, this is, statement. Yeah. It's not agreeing with you, but this I just want to add that kind of like that little bit this of is, context. This is, where we dis- this is where we disagree. I feel like if you take Draymond Green's um, playmaking to another team, he'd be an excellent asset on another team. You, okay. have, a, you have a never versatile defender. You have another versatile defender. You have another great rebounder, and you have a person who somebody somebody who can facilitate an offense. I think Draymond Green would be a great asset on another team. It's just that it mm. works so beautifully in Golden State because of the system they built with those three players. Now, am I wow. going to sit here and fake like if you put Steph Curry on a different team, he ain't going to still be Steph Curry? Absolutely, he's still going to be Steph Curry. Draymond ain't going to be Draymond though. He, nah, he Draymond, yes, he I disagree. Yes, no, 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 on the offensive <laughs> end, Draymond yes, will not do that. No, no. He, he, yes, he would. He's perfect for that system the way he is. And if you really look at Draymond, how the way he fr- flows in that offense, it's because of the shooting that they have on that team. You put him on right. a team that's not even a shooting team like that. No, he's not doing yeah, that. Yeah, you have to put him on team like in the league right now. Not doing that. Listen, Every team to... shoots three. No, everybody. Not at, not at, not at, not at the, not at the level, not at the level mm-hmm. of a. Uh, Go to state. No, we're not gonna. So do give that. me a team. Give me a team. You think Draymond Green would really struggle with? He's not. Oh, uh, Houston. He's the not Cavs, doing that in Houston. The Cavs. He's not doing that. A bunch of he's teams. not even Bulls, doing that at my Knicks. The Bulls. No, he's not doing that. I, I'll give you the Knicks. I, I'm, I'm a Knicks fan. Not be real yet. The Knicks ain't really huh? great three shoot. His the defense Bulls, will be it. there. I give him that. But on the offensive end, he is not gonna be like that on but, on those teams. He, like but that. he. But he's in the, the only in the team now. I do see him. Over there in the Suns for the fact of KD and Booker, I do see that. Not this only goes to the point. This goes to the point that he, I still think he would still be a good player on any team because he still has that great defense he's going to bring with him. 
but he, quick, here's my thing. We're talking about playmaking. And if you look at Steph, you could put him on any team and you're going to get what Steph is going to give you. Yeah, if I can elaborate so real think- quick too. Like you guys mentioned initiating offense, right? If I'm the point guard, right, I come down, I see a man-to-man, and I call motion, right, because the defense is running man-to-man. Am I really like the playmaker because I simply came down and coach said, hey, when we see man-to-man, we run motion? Am I really the playmaker because I do that and I make the first pass and I go pick away? I don't think that makes me a playmaker, right? And I think you guys are giving Draymond a lot of credit for kind of just basic things like that. Yeah, um, but, but Brandon, but it, Brandon but I got it. I gotta go. I just want to step up for a quick second. Okay, okay guys. Um I gotta get off too. I know we, we've been off for like three hours, so it's been Thank a good show. Thank you guys show. for having Hope me. You guys on, come back next next week if you can. Um real okay. real debates. Thanks for showing yeah, up. Salute, MLB salute, sports. Man. I can't wait to come back Thanks, and chop it up with y'all. Salute. All right, yeah, you Thank guys you guys. Talk talk man. 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 All right, guys, I'll see y'all next week, baby. I'll see you guys next week. All right.